everybody. Welcome, welcome. Oh, Good evening. Hi. hi, hello. Good evening. Evening, everybody. Let's engage. And I think we got to click our faces, right? I'm not engaged. I'm, 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 I'm married. Happily married. Happily Happy, married. Happily married. <gasps> uh, yeah, I need to. I need to put something on the camera. Okay. I'm focusing on Jedi Cat. Well, he's Cook Cat now. It has changed props like five times since I've been here. Well, he's he's uh, he's multi-jobbing. Oh. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. All he's right. changing jobs. He's got the crystals. He's got the crystals in the town. The crystals. Crystals and talent. Are you ready for so many talented crystals? Where did Kyle go? I, I turned away for a second. Were you going to inform anybody? No, were, were you going to warn people that you were doing the her thing? We have a green room. <laughs> we do have a green room. That is fair. Ever so slightly this direction. Uh, so you can see. You can see me. Hey, everybody. How we doing? You don't have to work tomorrow, Simple Minded. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I wish I didn't have to work tomorrow. Hell yeah. But my boss is an a-hole. Yeah, I know, right? I had to submit my time off. A total friggin' a-hole. What a dick. What a bunch of the a-holes. Ah, did you find me? Yeah, you found me. I did I find you. Would you please look at how if anything I am elegantly I am displaying matching. the ether current available for all. Oh. That's nice. That's nice. Uh oh shit, what's going on here? What? What? Oh, oh. Why is this this seems locked at 50 FPS? Why is it locked at 50 FPS? Won't go above 50. Is, what, what is set that what? shouldn't be set? See the FPS camp? Oh. So what's... I don't know. I don't know how to... It's been so long since I've affected those things. Hmm. Well, while Garrett does that, I will thank the many, many people <laughs> that are here <laughs> in some sort of descending order. Nils, Udiar. Sovereign, Keys to the Kingdom, Amy, Shady Blooms, Bert, Danielle, hmm. uh, John D. Arthur. Yes, it's been a whole year. It has. Super, I hear they're grinding gears in Elpis. I can't believe it. I know, right? How could they? So you're telling me uh, an Elpis grinded these gears? My God. My free God. Elpis. Wait, what? Oh, yes, I got my lines. Ah, yes, I have lines. Well, fine, fine, I guess. But, um... Oh, no, there. How, how did they get here? That's where we're going. Yep. First. It's, it's set to... Got blood. Help is blood. It says it's set to 60. So, I don't oh, know. Oh, no. Uh, get rid of uh, frame rate, right? Don't you just want to, like, un... Untether the frames? I let mean, them run free and wild? It might just be that this is the best the computer can do. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, so an old, it's an old computer, you it's know? It's so like, consistent. It, you know, it's a 980... Mm. T.I., though, which means it has the fancy hookups. T.I. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, you know, let it ride. Let Your eyes it. can't even handle it anyway. <laughs> or so some people say. You can definitely hate tell the difference between 30 and 60. Like, 100%. But you're at 50. <laughs> See? Your point is mute. Uh, it's moot, by the way. It's mute. Moot. Are, are, we, are we discovering a new thing again? What was the last lay, lay anchor? Yeah, well, no, there was one after that, but I don't remember. Yeah, it's moot. I don't, I don't keep mute. track of these. It's things. moot. It's a moot point, not a mute. Point. But I want you to be quiet. Oh, <laughs> wow, <laughs> shit. Uh. <laughs> there, back for you for the bronze. There you go. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Last Thursday, redeemed. <laughs> Bam. Uh, okay. All right. Okay. It's only fair. All right. It makes sense. Uh, happy maybe end of El Eve, everybody. No. Yeah. I, yes. I think it's Apparent. over. I mean, sort of. Maybe. Is it over? Like step one is over. I think it might be over. Oh, this is quite the trade, but I will be. Uh, I will be declining for. I do enjoy a bit of crafting, and I wish to craft my own level. 90 things someday so thank you so much but i will be denying Ugh. 
The crafted Denied. gear jump. Deny. But thank you very much. Hidden Appreciate text. It. Kyle is angry and doesn't want to uh, be you near you. You know, I want goals. You know? Kyle you wants goals. You know, if you, if you go cracking all the packs, you're not interested in the set anymore. <laughs> you gotta... That's not how magic works. Not even a little. Oh, for me, hell yeah. You gotta have... Well, it's, you know, because I play for free on Magic Arena, so you gotta have, like, goals. Uh, Otherwise, if you get everything you want, you're kind of like, well, I'm not gonna grind anything. Hmm. Hmm. Makes sense. Makes sense. Poppy, thank you for the supers that made the crowds be kind, the chat well behaved, the likes be plentiful, and the journey be fun. Thanks, Poppy. Yes. Much appreciated. Uh, I've got my own chat tonight. Although he I does. Guess, I guess I can see it well enough here, but I can't. I, mean, I can't control that. One. Yeah, no. This, this one. Sucrose rewards. I heard you. I heard you hitting tab every time. Yeah. Being oh. like, doing that. <laughs> giving that little. Yeah. Thank you for the secondary monitor. You're welcome. Uh, that just sucrose rewards just wants to yell number. 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 Why? Yeah, number I, don't question oh it. oh the eight, eight months yeah don't, i guess they, that's, they were brief that with their sense. message don't you dare question it. true true actually moving on thank yes. you thank you for the brevity biden uh said we're ready to party and chase off the backseaters so you bros have a crap <laughs> <laughs> i see you ventured into our comments this oh, week yes were you part of the first where were you during the first grinding gear flame war the first was true. it our first flame war? The I've, I've never been, seen that many replies that to is, a single it post. It is a lot of comments, comments on our previous I, one. Probably to my detriment, I'm very good about checking comments on our channel. Yeah, you. Well, I'm <laughs> glad one of us is. <laughs> I, however, harbor Where my sanity you? quite fondly. Oh, but yes. no, no. Like, may, may I? May I address? May I address the comments? You want to address the comments? Just slightly. Okay, all right. Because I've never seen such an understandable wrong comment. <laughs> <laughs> and it's true, though. Like, it is true. Like, let, spoiler, are you here? Spoiler? Like, Which not really. What are we talking about? What, what we happened got, we got, last time? We got a few. No, because so, so Vana <laughs> punches a shark, comes flying in, uppercuts a shark, it explodes into a thousand shark memory bits. And it's amazing. Actually, I think it's just sitting there in the cutscene. Well, yeah, but you know, like you know, in your mind's eye, <laughs> you she made a came... new robe out of it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, you, you you enhance it. Yeah. So she comes flying down, and she's like, "Yo, what's up? I'm into anything you want to do. See my white robe? I'm up for Let's anything. Go. I'm the old you. You want to tell me some shit? You want to really? hang out? Like I am ready. Let's hang. And I bet you." If you've been playing this game for 10 years, that's a pretty emotional moment. But for two chuckle fucks like us, <laughs> who've been playing this game for it was about awesome. two years. It was cool. It was straight up awesome. It was badass. Chill. Let's go hang out, but not. I don't think that was the part that people were saying was emotional. I think they were saying that the how has your journey been was the emotional part. But that's what I'm saying. It's like, that's a that's a grand question. Which I agree with. Yeah. Which I agree with. Yeah. What I, what I do find... so. Before anyone, because y'all love to remind us not to get one guide, and I respect the shit out of that. Thank you for well, reminding this isn't us. One guy. Get one this guide. is the, the mass majority of players thought. would have an emotion. Go, oh, please. Let I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let I'm me sorry. finish my thought. I'm gonna take. You, I'm. I'm. I'm getting there. Okay. I'm getting okay. there. Okay. Because and that's very kind. Thank you for looking out for our well-being and reminding us to not get lost in the very rare negative comments. Yeah. Because we don't get a lot. We don't get a lot. Uh, every once in a while, I check someone else's comments just to see. Sure. And I'm like, man, our comments are rad. But I find it, I find that brand of backseating so bizarre. I want to study it like academically. Like the you didn't emotion right. I just, I just find it so odd, and it comes up every once in a while. And I want to be very oh. clear, it's rare, but it comes up enough. That I notice it. No, it's like the penny joke. Like, you're getting one guide. You're, have, you're talking one guide. Well, you brought up the emotion. But I, no, but I'm talking. Uh, no, there was multi multi guide. Okay. I got right. multi. I, right. I'm talking multi guide. I'm talking to multi people. Okay. Multi people. Multi people. Because we got like three guide. Yeah, there were multiple people. Yeah. But it's a it's a high. What I'm saying <laughs> is, it's a highly understandable reaction. Uh, okay. Why Pe people are people want context? People want context. For we, what we were we were told we did not emote. The Correctly. right way. Yes. At the right time. Yes. Yeah. We we were not drawn to tears when Vana was hanging with us, and yes. what I want to say, even though we're joking around, what I, what I seriously want to say is, 
I get that. Like I told you, you've been playing for 10 years. That's a huge moment, but it would be disingenuous for me to have gotten emotional there. Cause I was hanging out with the biggest badass I've ever met. <laughs> and I was just happy I mean, to get, be there. Okay. Now I just want to debate which of the three of the four of the people that we're hanging out with five, if you count Medion, are the biggest badasses. Cause I don't think it's been on. I think it's Emma. They made so so I, I organized our footage today, so this shit is super fresh oh, in my oh, brain. So you're you're all super, refreshed. So and I'm ready to go. I'm the Super Saiyan like uh, uh, four right now, and you're at like a Super Saiyan two in okay, terms of your I memory see. I see. because I organized all our footage and Jesus Christ, it took like three hours. Um, but but they will not shut up about how special it is that Emmett can fly without transforming. Mm. There are so many sentences dedicated <laughs> there's an entire scene that talking about it. and i'm just like no man but no it's cool listen i get it and that was that was a legitimately good fight that fight was legitimately that was challenging cool. um you know not that i would know as the one, one, one shotter, shotter yes of of course, not that course. i would know that it was challenging, but no. it looked challenging why would you it looked like if i wasn't amazing <laughs> it would be a difficult fight <laughs> but but of course um no it was it was it was freaking incredible yeah no i i didn't i i i didn't yeah i don't know i didn't i mean i did have in the moment you can even hear me yeah um, yeah you can even hear me say man i'm just i'm thinking about how much my life has changed the last two years so i had an emotional reaction no you definitely it. did but yeah. I, don't, I don't cry i've cried once, once. well we've had once yeah We've no, been through it, this. We, we, yeah. Yeah, we've all, we both cried multiple times, at, or once, I guess you said. Yeah. Uh, at different parts something, of the story. Something got me recently, but it wasn't Final Fantasy XIV. I'm trying to remember. Shit. When it comes to me, yeah. I'll, I'll remind you. Something something made me well up. But no, no. Hardcore uh, recently. My, my, my main point, when, and I do think, you know, your, your order is off, but yeah. that's okay, because yeah. I, I would put Vinod number one so far. Yeah. Because she's a badass and she has the robe to prove it. Yeah. People are asking for my mic to go up a little bit. I see it's quite high. It does appear. Oh, I'm. You know, let's da- let's turn down me. Let's that do that might instead. Be, that'll be easier. Let's do that because I'm easier. I'm laughing and that is easier. Being and I'm, and I'm like turning all over the place. I'm trying to talk to you. Yeah, I'm trying no, to look no, at stream. We're, we're being all over. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm all over the place. I'm all over the place. So yeah. anyway, I, it's just it's just a, a, a criticism I find fascinating because yes. I, I think it's weird to tell someone, uh, oh, you you didn't you, you didn't you should have cried. Tell, telling someone you should it's like well, I'll tell myself when I should cry no, thank you very it's, much it's more than understandable I totally get I don't why someone I don't else would have yeah well yeah. that's why we're I know. don't understand that and I, now I don't understand you that's why we're a team nope. we're, we're a team and nope. together we nope. cover all the bases okay but I want to be clear that we you know F that noise though right oh yeah no I don't <laughs> want comments like that obviously. yeah no 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 it's, but I did think it was an interesting per, situation yeah, it's it's deeply uncomfortable yeah, yeah, it, was, deeply uncomfortable. it was it was an odd odd situation mm-hmm. for sure um Anyway, what is quite funny is uh, we have discovered in our previous... <laughs> I'm with Symbolus in the chat. Hmm? Who's yelling, audio up, audio down, react more. <laughs> I'm with Symbolus. I'm with you. I'm with you. I see you. You let have us, been witness. Let us actually celebrate what we should be reacting to. In that the man who possibly destroyed the universe maybe is going to do it tonight by making monster waifu satellites. Uh, so the enemy is Dacoff? No, it's Hermes. No, the enemy is Dacoff. Well, Grinding Gear's own Dacoff. Well, sure. Uh, has well, I, I don't know his if powers he, I don't for think he's invented evil. satellites. But. <laughs> <laughs> so actually, are you saying that if you're into Monster Girls, Hermes is a hero for sharing Monster Girls with, with, the, with cosmos? the universe? Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. I just want to make sure that we're clear. Which that's obviously what's happening because of the you know all the the dragon stuff that we've been getting reminded of and okay. you know, touring out in the space and Highland being like bring it you know makes sense makes sense. Uh, let's see, Scott. Thank you for the super, Scott Lee's that's suggestion. Sing "Rock Me Amadeus," but place uh, replace Amadeus with Hithlodeus and have fun. I don't know that one, Scott. I can't help you. It's the day, it's the day, it's the day, it's the day. Well, that, that gets hard. Oh, 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 Hitler Deus. <laughs> you, you find saying Hitler Deus back, back to back many times difficult? A little. It gets Hitler, there. Hitler Deus, Hitler Deus, Hitler Deus, Hitler Deus, Hitler Deus, Hitler Deus, Hitler Deus. See? Okay. It falls apart. It I falls got further apart. than you, though. Yeah. I just want to keep winning. I just want to keep... I won you just, once. You just won, I won you, one. You're, you're mad I, with power. Uh, is is, is, the, is Ed Walker the, the, the season of 
Garrett one-shotting solo duties. Because I, I also got the the dinner with Zeno solo duty. Well, you're only good at solo duties when they're good. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, yeah, that, oh. that, that was for you. That was, the, <laughs> that was for you. <laughs> Thank you, bro. Dude, thank you. I'm with you. Yeah, the the, uh, the solo duties in M. Walker have... Def well, actually, you beat the Thankard one, which is also a good solo duty. Yes. You beat that one before me. Slightly. But you were miles ahead on the Stuck in a Garlean Soldier. Well, yes, but... No, nonetheless, yeah, the, the I, I have been quoted many times by saying that solo duties are like basically my least favorite part of Final Fantasy XIV, like especially like required bits. Um, and when people have pushed me on it, I'm like, I don't know, a lot of them just aren't all that. They aren't all that interesting. Like, I remember fighting Ranji. To me, it just like took really long. Um, well, I, the solo duties in M Walker are really good. Yeah, like all of them. They are they they really kind of like style on every other solidity that came before it in my opinion so it's it's been interesting uh if you haven't if, if you're just tuning in if you're new here hi my name is garrett i'm famous for constantly having to eat my own hat on any and all of my takes on final fantasy 14 please enjoy your to stay. be fair you could have spent years not eating your hat demanding that these changes happen and then they do and you could say you were right all along so it's really about when you started the game <laughs> you're saying i'm it, the only the difference between being right and wrong is is uh, l the linear march of time. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I'm into that. Because a wrong clock is right twice a day. Are we getting philosophical enough for you? I yet? think so. Everybody, are you? I think so. Are you not entertained? We, we covered all the bases by our big brains, our giant brains. Monster Girls and V9. And I mean, Prime. I know you're entertained by Monster Girls. I've se I've seen what makes you cheer. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, Pothy, uh, thank you for the many gifted memberships, uh, as well as Nicholas C kicking us off with a, with a massive 20. Thank you, Nicholas C. Uh, Vernacular Ham also gifted 10. Uh, that's very kind. I see you pinned up at the top. I see you. And then, uh, uh Vernacular Ham also super chatted something, something like the stream, my fellow vampires. Very good. Yes. The Coven. My name is Jackie Daytona. Can we just call it the Coven from now on, and then you, we know you're in the oh, know. Oh, the Coven. Yeah. Well, we call it the Gearbox. Well, yeah, but like now, now we're gonna brand confusion. But we, well, I'm just saying, like the there were those arguing in our Discord this week that they are good emotional vampires, and there were those arguing. Oh, there's against a lot of disowning. Yes. yes, there's a lot of disowning. Like of I am an emotional types. vampire. <laughs> however, I do not associate with that sort of vampirism. <laughs> You so know, that vampire gives all us vampires a bad exactly. name. I drink my blood from bags like so, a civilized vampire. See? That vampire is murdering Final Fantasy XIV Precisely. streamers in the streets, dragging them into an alley and telling them, cry for my amusement. So, you know, the the menagerie, like you, you, you all work on it. It's, it's yours to do with what you will. Ethical vampirism, that works. Yep. Yeah, ethical yep. vampirism is good. Yep. Oh, we will enjoy ourselves. Thanks. Too late. Wait, wait, wait. Already it's too, too late. It's not, it's, already we can, am. We can continue. Yeah, okay. Enjoying ourselves. Okay. But uh, thank you, Sonneville. It's a generous soup. Much appreciated. And Ratoli uh, uh, coming and swinging with more gifted memberships while I was in the middle of thanking people for gifted memberships. So That's how it goes. Not to be outdone. That's how it goes. Thanks, Ratoli. Much appreciated. Oh, goodness gracious me. Jonathan H., thank you for those 18 months. Uh, Greek lesson. Word Garrett can't pronounce is a theater term that refers to the moment where the hero figures out what's really going on, usually RE their adversary. Oh, neat. Agnoresis. Actually, I guess I can pronounce that. I think. Hopefully. I someone's think you gonna, did good. Someone's gonna but you, but the thing in, when we make a video... Oh, but by the way, if you're not familiar with that, we do make videos about this experience. Oh, yeah. We, we have a so. brand new video that just went up yesterday That's true. Uh, about our overall thoughts on the hype cycle that is half a year of FanFest because it's our first time ever kind of experiencing that full hype cycle. Yeah, check well, it out. Well, almost all of it. But also, you can expect a video on this particular chapter as well. So uh, those, Maybe two, maybe three. Who knows? Who knows how long it'll take us to talk about all this. You know how our videos are. Yeah. 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 But we, when we make those videos, can I, can I we can get I, to pause. Can I tease the, the meeting we had yesterday? We've had so many meetings. Can what, I tease what was the meeting that yesterday? we have a date that we're aiming for, but I'm not going to say what the date is? You mean to be done with things? To be... Yeah. Yeah. Can I tease you, that? You can tease that. Um, Kyle and I sat down and we had a very serious meeting yesterday because there's other life events hmm. coming up. What would up. those be? There's other life events coming up. And we're, we don't have all the particulars ironed out, but uh, it, it made us realize that we needed 
to probably hit credits on Endwalker by a specific date. Yeah. So, if we have to hit the gas a little more than we were expecting, so be it. We got it all mapped out. Yeah. I think that's the best way to tease it. Yes. We have mapped out yes. with the help of the MS Curator. Yeah, yeah, which we're going to actually talk to him very soon. Yeah. Uh, about. Exactly. Kind of mapping. Exactly. Out. Yeah, so, anyway, um, that that's my little tease. That's my tease to you. That's all for now. That's all for I now. I literally don't have more information that's all for I now. can give you. <laughs> but yeah. I can't believe Garrett is pregnant. I know, right? Wait till wait till that bomb drops, Taz. Wait till that bomb drops. Massive bomb you know drops. Time, every, like, every time I tease something, there's at least one person who legitimately thinks that that's it. But it's just it's an like, exciting oh my, thing, you know? People, people, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't you're y'all are good, but some people in my life, man, they really just th- it's weird to just be told to have sex. I think that's a very strange <laughs> thing is, socially. Like, could you please, could you <laughs> just, please just do it more? Stop with all the or, safety. Or, yeah, let's not. <laughs> <laughs> just do it more and in a very specific way. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's, I find it socially strange. I find it very socially strange. It's no more different. It, it's the same thing as enjoying, like, romance. And especially, like, when it's your parents. Because for so much of your life, they're like, please don't. Just, just back. Don't. No, please don't. Just. Just d- d- and then a- ignore, a ignoring. And like, we would love nothing more. The particulars. <laughs> it's the exact same. There are people in this world who are like, "You would read a romance novel? You're happily married." And it's like, no. Well, I'm happily married. That's why I enjoy reading people falling in love because I found love, and it's fun to experience it. Again. Oh my god, it was free Ren that made me well up. Oh, you are oh, you, okay. Oh you my remember god, now? Free Run destroyed yeah. me. Um, I'm still catching up, so I'm trying to remember what episode it is. But uh, there's a thing. There's romance budding now where I am in, in Free Run, and there was this, there was this episode where you learn the meaning of a symbol in this world, and somebody at just at that point realizes that someone gifted them something with the symbol on it okay. and came to realize oh, okay. what that meant and dude I was just over there just like <laughs> just like don't don't look at me Katie <laughs> I enjoy <laughs> oh my god absolutely watching it destroyed. when I'm absolutely destroyed when I feel like fully a person after the boxes yeah. are all gone yeah yeah I, wait I haven't gotten that that's why I'm being that's why I'm being coy yeah that's why I'm being yeah. coy <laughs> the coy I'm telling you which is at this point in the show there's a lot of characters that could be there's a lot of characters it could be. Uh, Jensen, thank you for the generous super. Say, going to be an awesome stream tonight. Good way to end a work day. we waiting all day for this. Let's all have a great time tonight. Aloha from Hawaii. Aloha, Jensen. Thanks again for the support. <sighs> Much appreciated. Uh, we've got uh, Colin K said, nice to see you and Taliesin together again, Garrett. That Hope you have show. a good rest of the year. By the way, Taliesin will be on the podcast Monday. Oh, that, oh, cool. We get to yeah. announce that. That's all. Yeah, yeah I'm excited. Yeah, we can add Talia, so we'll be joining us on the Grinding Gear podcast on Monday. Because um, he said, we can't have guests on our WoW podcast until you guess, because I used to have a WoW podcast with you. And I'm like, I didn't hold you to that. He's like, just sounds right. I'm like, okay. Well, I'll only do it if you agree to come on Grinding Gear. That's and fair. Technically, so. they are married, and we're just partners. So, you know, that makes sense. Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. He yeah, could have done that without me. No, he didn't need my blessing. Yeah. He didn't need it. It was a really, it was really fun to hang out with him and Abby, though. I watched the whole thing. I, well, I unpacked. Too. It was nice. They're very nice people. Uh, nice podcast. Oh, I'm glad you enjoyed it, P. Pat. Thank you. Thanks for saying that. Uh, Dark Knight of Anime wants to know how we're feeling on the final stretch of Elpis. Uh, Curious. I thoroughly enjoyed this. It's, it's wordy. Well, yeah. Which I know isn't everybody's cup of tea. Clearly, I'm assuming it's yours if you're here watching a Final Fantasy XIV stream. You made but, it this oh, far. Dude, yeah. I'm loving it. Like, I, 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 I wish I thought, like, had any inkling that we were going to be, like, finding Fan Daniel in the past. Because had I known that or had any thought that that's where we were heading, I would have been like, there's no world where they make Fan Daniel a sympathetic character. And it would have been a very amusing thing to be wrong on. Because hmm. clearly I'm wrong. They're making Hermes, well, Van Daniel, extremely sympathetic. You're not e- like that's not even fair to say because they put him in Asahi's body. Like, the, <laughs> if there's a way to make you dislike someone, put him in Asahi's body. I would argue he gets <laughs> worse though when he gets his own voice. Yeah, oh, I'm just saying he gets like you know creepier. it's not the best first impression when yeah. you show up with Asahi's face. It is a, like the, the more 
you remember when he showed up and I was like, man, there's just no way this a-hole lives up to Emmett. And he doesn't. However, I think this is my take. It, 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 I can think of no greater challenge than to make someone creepier and more skeevy than Asahi. And I think they actually accomplished that okay. with Van Daniel. Okay. That dude is a creep. Maximum creep. So was Asahi. Well, yes, but I think I think Van Daniel might be a little creep. We'll do the wall creeps. Van Daniel never Coming walked soon. in and said, your parents. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I still, Asahi, tier list of dictum and creepiness. Asahi's okay. still leading the way. Asahi's dictum is much more relatable on a human level. Yeah, well, true. Because apocalypse is yes. hard to fathom. Yeah, it's true. Uh, having awful parents, we all, may, maybe we don't have awful parents ourselves, but we know, we all at least know one person in our lives where you're just like, oh, I wish your parents didn't suck so hard. And that's, that's mm. Asahi. You're just like, okay. and, and Yatsuyu, and yeah. I was thinking about Yatsuyu today. I was organizing my special swords that I don't want to get rid of, and uh, I had my, my Sukiyomi sword. And I was like, oh, man. Storm was, Stormblood was good, y'all. I would do the wall good. of creeps, but comments would be off for that video. I would not... <laughs> <laughs> well, you have them on. Myself. You have them on for the algorithm, but you just, just, we just make just, a pack. We just, that we never read never them. Touch we them. never <laughs> read them. We never go looking. Because someone's gonna come and they're swinging. We learned our lesson after the wall of waifus. Yeah. Do not Woo. go read. No. Woo. Just don't. It, it, you can't, it can't be done. No. Do not read. Just people. It. People get weird when you have, when you don't agree with their waifu selection. Yes, it's true. Yeah. 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 Uh, Das, thank you for the super. Yes, the fat cat does indeed. Hunger for blood. Charles, super interesting fact about the word uh, elpis. It means hope, or in Greek mythology, spirit of hope. The spirit mm. of hope was said to be a young woman holding flowers. Sure. Look at them getting cute. Yeah, I'm Look at them getting holding cute. flowers. I get it. I get it. Yeah. This is your favorite part, Lancelot? Yeah, because you're a massive Emmett fanboy and you get to hang out with him. Oh, it's, it's so good. It's so good. Hates your guts, though. What? Well... Yeah. If you really wanted to hang out with him, if, you would have censored if you the like, story a little bit. If if you like Emmett, you probably like being <laughs> talked meanly to <laughs> at least a oh, little bit. Oh, oh I okay, that's what that's just a little that's bit. what I don't possess. Just I a little see. bit. You can take that in whatever way you want. No, I, I will say I, my favorite I teachers understand. were yep. always no, the ones I, I that were harsh. You. Made me learn. The mommy people. It all makes sense. Uh, I didn't consider my teacher's mommy. No, no, no. But I'm saying, like, you know, people, it's not the character. Like, Vinaya has done very little that is mommy. There are people, though, that enter the situation with their own, what's well, good baggage? Because baggage is often negative. Um, just bags of stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And they bring that in. Yeah. Uh, you're right, Dwaygon. To, to, to be fair, discussing waifus is controversial. Absolutely. Yeah. So when we had our, our YouTube comment snafu this week, there was a lot of conversation about it in our Discord. And I never thought of before about it before, but multiple people brought up that it reminded them of uh, very aggressive comments about people who get mad watching Mass Effect playthroughs based on who the player romances. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. And now I like get it. I'm like, actually, yeah, I see the similarity in attitude yeah. with that. Because I'm like, how can you give that? It's your play. The whole point is choice. Yeah. It's the whole point of the game. So anyway, I digress. I digress. It's been very interesting. I've been fascinated by it more than I've been mad about it. So, yeah. Like I said, it was all understandable. Yeah. I want to do like a term paper on it, man. <laughs> like I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go essay. back to school for my PhD mm. and this is going to be my thesis. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's what's going to happen. That's what's going to happen. The right. idea of going back to school is terrifying. I have no interest right now. But I just kind of, a little bit, still want to be Dr. Weinzerl. You know, even if it's not a medical doctor. I call you doctor. You, it'd be weird if you called me doctor. Yeah, but if you, you know, if you want, like, there's, <laughs> we go by our real names like freaking weirdos on this channel. If you want to just be start yeah. calling yourself the doctor, go for yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. You know? We're freaky yeah. like that. Yes. Wading into the internet with our real names. Yeah, I think people are used to it. I think people are used to it by now. Uh, bu 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 bu. Glad you're excited, Aleph. 
thanks for the 10 months. Uh, but you're, oh, you're also excited for more of our whimsical antics. Well, g you're in luck. You're <laughs> yeah. incapable of turning that off. <laughs> that is not a that is not a feature that can be disabled. Uh, Jonathan Harrison, thanks for the super. Uh, Greek lesson number two. Elpis features primarily in the myth of Pandora's box and refers to the hope left inside once all the evils have been unleashed. Oh, shit. This, this works because I have minute knowledge of Greek mythology, unlike pretty much all other mythology that has been referenced in Final Fantasy so far. This one, I'm like, oh, I'm interested in that because those are things I kind of understand. Okay. I but a lot of times it's stuff I am completely, completely ignorant of. I, am, I do want to hear your prediction for tonight when we get there, when, when you're ready. If that if now is the time, but you brought it up, yeah. So I guess now is the time. Okay, now is the time. Now is the time. I mean, hold on. Okay. Can we summon a Jesse to give us specific questions? No. Well, he might be. You know, I don't know. If I mean, maybe here. I'm gonna rub the Jesse lamp. Yeah. We're gonna see. Is Jesse is is I don't know. Is Jesse in the room with us right now? <laughs> you never know. <laughs> Fat cat's ready. That's what matters. Uh, Fat cat's ready to rock. Yeah, I don't. So I don't think he is. I don't think he is. Okay. Because normally. He would have be here with a smart comment. No, now. it's all good. Um, but okay, all right. Well, so we're both we're both pretty sure this is the we're done with the Elpis arc after tonight. It seems the way. Okay. Because we are on the way to meet Hermes. <laughs> or don't you mean meaty on? Meaty on to Hermes. get our meaty on, our meaty on, to get our meaty on. And we will get some sort of reveal as to why things are the way they are. And, but I asked you first. I, I don't. I don't want to taint your prediction with my own thoughts. I don't really. I don't really know. No. I'm like, we're gonna find out how the end of day started it and how Akasha factors in. Yeah. Dark matter. Sure. I. I think that's a. I feel like that. I don't like the dark matter. Uh, connection because they talk so much about how it's emotive and well yes but it's a force filling out the universe in comparison to ether which if you think of ether as mass that's fair, that's fair. jesse is fighting thor dan solo at the moment okay all right okay <laughs> good song i love that okay. song probably my favorite song in the so, game. so yeah like you know me i find it very difficult to come up with hard predictions at this point because we're already so far off where i thought we were going i'm like i thought We'd be hanging out with Emmett as a ghost emerging from the live stream. Mm. That was my prediction for M. Walker. And then somehow, end of days, and we or we fix it. I still think we're going to fix it. Because there needs to be more game. Yeah. But um, how it all happens, I really don't know. Um, I, I think we're ready for like a, a truly awful dip because this is all a little bit too hunky oh it's been super happy we're gonna go, go we're going to go back to the source and it's gonna be like that scene from community when uh what's his face comes in with the pizza oh that's from community okay i'm, I'm familiar with the game you never seen community i've seen the like D, &D episode, oh my god dude it's one individual it's one episodes the, one of but... the best shows it's yeah. so good uh it's a little weird when there's cast switch ups anyway i digress um yeah like we're gonna we're gonna go back to an empire strikes back situation like it's Shit's gonna suck when we go back to the source. But I don't know how. Interesting. That was it was cool to even though you didn't give a prediction, it was cool to hear what pieces were the standouts. Like, I'm, I'm waiting for like, I don't, I don't the know. dots I, on your connect the dots. I feel like I misunderstood every time I, I, I bring up deaths, but I feel like we're long for a death. Like something needs to come in and set the stakes. Like like Fortuno needs to die or something. Mm. <laughs> like someone we care about, but a a again, I'm just like Scions have plot armor in a way because I was certain Thanker was going to die in Shadowbringers. So I'm like, if you're going to kill Scion, it would have killed a Scion in Shadowbringers because Thanker was right there. Right, he was right there, ready right to give his for life for his his yeah. surrogate daughter. Um, and so like I really just like not going to do shit to the Scions. Uh, so I'm like, it's some, it's gonna be someone close to the Scions, like Tataru or Fursuno. Oh, or, that's interesting. Um, like who else? Could, like one of the world leaders could die. We could lose, mm -hmm. you know, because we haven't checked in with them in a while. True. Um, so I'm thinking about all of these characters, and and it, and I don't think you're required to have deaths, but I like this seems so dark and so dire that it kind of 
feels like we're heading towards I don't one. think you need to make that caveat. I think it's a 50-50 split across fandoms of people who like deaths and people who hate deaths. And together, we enjoy all kinds of different properties. Like all things, I like it when it's well executed. Yeah. The cheap deaths for the sake of shot value piss me off like crazy. And But I, I also like it when they when they work. Yeah, because dead is dead. Yes. And if they can be dead, dead, that's nice. Yeah. Yeah, or even if they aren't dead, dead, but like it, it makes me feel something like David Tennant's original exit from Doctor sure. Who. Sure. Like, yeah, it's Doctor Who. It's time travel. Also, we know David Tennant loves Doctor Who. He's going to come back for specials. But that scene was so evocative. And even though I'm like, whatever, pff, I know Matt Smith's coming next. I saw the Matt Smith billboard as I drove down. I was living in L.A. Damn at the time. it, spoilers. How Damn. could they? Fuck you, L.A. billboard. <laughs> How could you, billboard? <laughs> But, I'll get you next but time. But you get there and you're and you're like, well, I was through Eccleston and I was fine, but but like, it, 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 uh, tenants exit wrecks me emotionally. Mm. It still to this day, really gets me. Um, and it's it's fiction, and I know he's fine, so it's it's all in execution as far as I'm concerned. So, yeah, I don't know why the Spider-Man death in Infinity War didn't do anything for me. Oh, I, I don't do, feel so good, Mr. Stark? I think it's well done, but I it remember is. in the moment just going, ah, they're just going to well, bring it was back. Well, it was all super reversible because we were going to defeat Thanos yes. and Thanos was the yes. one doing it. Yes. So it so was kind of... Because that's the one that I objectively think was well done, but it did nothing for me. So that's a weird one. That's an outlier. No, I, I mean, in that term, and I've said it many times, we're going to be Sailor Mooning. That's later, though. This is my prediction I don't know for Sailor tonight. Moon. You got to put it in Dragon Ball Z terms. Um, okay. Uh... That happens all the time in ensemble action movies. Go on, go on without me. Save and in the yourself. final, yeah. And in the final moment, they come over the hill and they're fine. Oh, okay. That kind of thing. Except I, for I, this will be more like a dissolving in Sailor Moon. What happens in Sailor Moon is they kind of they give themselves unto ether, okay, if you will, to empower Sailor Moon, who is now finding herself alone. But the hope and power. Oh, you think, you think everyone's going to like uh, retro rocket ether us. ether into us? Yeah, or something like, or have, the or have light. to sacrifice themselves, or I don't feel so good, Mister Stark, or something along those huh. lines. But that's not tonight that that's happening. Well, yeah, but I, th I think whatever happens at the end of Elpis kind of signals the 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 dire shit we're about to step into. Yeah, no, t what I'm expecting tonight because my original theory was, ah, oh, we are. More teens were all perfect, and they do think they're perfect. It got confusing when Hermes said things were feeling fear, and that he was aware of what fear was, and everyone kind of knows what fear is, and animals fear fear. And I'm like, well, that seems like something you shouldn't know about. I, I don't agree with you on that. So it's it's a very. I mean, I still think we might be in a simulation, so we'll see how it goes. Thing for you, but what if he comes back? His monster wife who's come back with information of other planets. That's the thing. Would like, that why dissolve... even bring that up? Well, that could dissolve their society because they feel that's, like they're That's the one wrinkle of all of Elpis for me so far. As I was going back through footage, I was so interested in Vana last stream that I wasn't really thinking about that it's weird we're retreading what we just learned. Literally a quest to go learn that, yeah, Hermes himself came to us and said, Oh, yeah, Medion? Yeah, I made a bunch of her, and I shot them out into the galaxy. Yeah. And then Vinash shows up, and we're like, we're, we're talking to this woman who's like, I saw him doing something on an island and, I, and shooting a bunch of things off, and I don't know what it is. And like, I'm like, why are we retreading this immediately? That part's weird to me. Well, that that is because... It seems a little unnecessary. No, it's it, that's important to drive home that he has found a loophole to do this in secret, the whole familiar thing. He is, he's created familiars that don't have to be approved by the government. He's homemade satellites. And he's not allowed to launch them into space. He's got a he's got a transistor radio. But he told us. And he needs a license. Blank that he launched them into space. Well, but we, we all, already know what he But did. we also did the trustworthy thing with the flowers. And, and plus, we're just a familiar anyway. So he's just talking to a familiar about familiar stuff, you know? All I'm saying is that. We're not like, even real. Going back and organizing all the footage, I'm like feels like there was too much of this like i, I get like I, like we already know this info and why if, are we going back over it and help me out with dragon what's dragon's name who's mr president midgard oh wait oh oh wait no mr president dragon is oh my god the uh, i've all i've got is the no, my no, vitra, vitra vitra thank you vitra. thank you chat vitra. uh and vitra was even like my father thought it was super cool that when he showed up heidelin was like sup you're welcome here therefore 
Heidelin knew about other planets in the past. And so when a dragon showed up on the planet, she was like, yeah, that sounds cool to me. Come on down. It, it, that, that, that's, where I, that's where I just, I, I exit the ride in terms of like, this upsets my understanding in a way that actually upsets me a little bit. <laughs> oh. <laughs> like, wait, we're pre-sundering. So we're pre-14 reflections, but now we're focusing on some dude who's searching for life out in the pre sundered cosmos right but we already have established that the reflections don't like exist in the same space as each other but they share the same moon no they don't possibly they share the same png your we've been to the moon (laughs) and debunked that kyle you're kyle ferguson the only person who could go to the moon and be like maybe the earth is still flat yeah i still think it could be flat um that's that's i'm like well but wait but like what 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 I'm still like unsure, like lore wise, is there still just one galaxy universe that all of these reflections the, exist within? Yes. Or once the sundering happened, are there now 14 I, universes? I can make jokes about it, but you're absolutely right. Because could you. So what happened? Like, what relevance does it even matter if Hermes found life did, before everything went to shit and we, we shattered reality? Right. Did they sunder Midgard Sormer and there's 14 Midgard Sormers that could visit Earth but didn't because only the source is Midgard Sormer? Right. I get what you're saying. And just for my own sanity, what I've thought about it is I've just been like, the source is the only one with space. Let's just, for just for Omega's sake, that there's not 14 Omegas that, doing right, 14 raids. I was raids. doing the same thing. In my head, I'm like, Let's I'm just, just not going to think about it. I'm not going to yeah, think about the yeah. fact that there could be 13 other don't universes. Worry. <laughs> just don't worry about that. Because it's like, well, wait, does the first have their own Omega? So, but <laughs> I, I am fat. So, since there was no fear, fear... Discovering fear isn't what caused everyone to freak out. I think their perfect society can't exist when they think everything's perfect and they find other planets with other societies on them. And that's going to cause the freak out. That's the only thing I can come up Uh, with. And that is why in the future, 12,000 years in the future, uh, Heidel and Midgard's Homer arrives and it's like, sup, I knew you'd come. Because we knew about other planets thanks to Monster Girl Waifu satellites. But how would she know the relevance of that in a 14 reflected We don't know everything reality. we said there, man. We were yeah. telling all kinds of well, stories. Well, that's what I'm saying. I'm still even, <laughs> like, that's a cool thought, but my confusion applies to that thought. You said this was Horshafon. It might have been us been like, and then Midgard Server showed up, you know? Like this this <laughs> no, could be it. That's the Horshafon emo. I, but you know, I'm just saying. You type in slash Horshafon. That's what you did. That sun wasn't set and we have no idea what stories we told her. It could have been about anything. Literally anything. You lo- you love when you're like right, like properly right about something. You love playing it up to chat because you're like, see, I'm one of you. I'm one of them right now. Let no, me I, have this. I know, I know. <laughs> I never get things right. I never remember shit like that. Yeah. I never because because I'm I'm in that camp of my hot take is like Yasela is so much cooler and her death is so much more important than Archie. Well, the, now we're getting that's just now we're getting that's into Mass Effect take. waifus and yep. well, that, you know uh, 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 wall wall of death importance. That's why it's yeah. our wall and not their wall or you know anyone. Yeah. That's why the walls are personal things. Yeah. 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 Thank you, okay. Gaia. Thank okay. you, Gaia. Okay. Gaia knows we, what's we have, up. We've got six minutes. I am seen. I am witness. Well, uh, yeah, but that's your fault for asking for for the true. For the predictions. True, but I liked hearing what, um, I was really interested to hear what beats you thought were most important in the current iteration of the story. I'm, I really enjoyed I'm that. Thank horribly you. horribly confused is my honest answer. Yeah. Like, well, I, I, a little bit is invoking the... once Hermes invoked anything beyond Elpis. I was just like, I can't, I can't fathom all. I can't hold all these lines. But, I mean, a little bit was literally there to be like, Hey, confusing shit. <laughs> Go. And then Vanaz like, you're from the future. And it's like, you, they want us to be confused. <laughs> you know, that's just the nature of it right now. Don't worry about it too much. Yeah. We got a bunch of gifted memberships. I just want to say okay, thank yeah, you. Okay, absolutely. No, like, you've got, you've got just, time. I just want to say yeah, thank no, you. Thank, thank you, Jensen. Thank you. That's a lot of members. Give me Tokyo. That's very generous. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, there's, there's a lot. Uh, just because it's pinned up the top, I'm going to read Millis. Uh, said Kyle, thank you for talking me and others. I'm sure into playing this game while convincing Garrett at the same time. Garrett, thank you for being you. This is gonna be good. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> I, I, I'm flattered and I'm not worthy because John talked me into it's, it's just a chain. It's just a chain, you know. John was like, it's a pyramid the, scheme. The way you describe it, John was mad at you. 
like yes. jo- John had a bit, had let like like fears the mind killer levels of 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 despair just enter his up. mind. He was just like, yeah. You know what? You're not gonna play it. Deuces. Yep. Deuce. Here's here's a picture of a thing covered in boobs. <laughs> <laughs> Screw you. He sent you the 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 final boss from Eden. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, no one's ever going to play this game. <laughs> F you, dude. Look at this. <laughs> oh, my God. It's got people in its knees. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. K-Cat, K-Cat saying, John, what a legend. Hell yeah. Yeah. Oh, I've got an ether current right here. I'm going to click that ether current. Ah. <sighs> oh. Oh. Seven hat guy. Thank you for the seven months. Is this the Eureka stream, said Rogue Mage? Funny you should mention that because we're actually we're legitimately thinking we might do that next Thursday. Yeah, we want to look up if it's like level sync because we want to get levels for um, our role quest. We would like ideally. to do something. We would like to do a community night next week. We yeah. would like to do something other than Boja, but we'd also like to get XP. Yeah, so we need to like talk need to, to have people a discussion. and see what, it's, what, it's what on, it means. It's on the maybe yeah. for next week because um, we will not be MSQing next week because we'll be editing our MSQ videos. Exactly. Yeah. So, um, yeah, Thursday night will probably be some sort of community night thingy. We could rival wings. We could rival wings. We do rival wings again. That's another thing we could do. Oops. Uh, Eureka is no XP. Eureka is oh, no XP. Oh, shame. Shame. Sorry, Kyle. Sorry, we're just going to have to. Because I do. I want to see it. I want to see have to what get happens. XP in the old fashioned way. You know, the, do, do some actual Doing cryo Hundreds of other potential options. All right. Yeah. Yeah. I am heading towards the quest. Jonathan Harrison, last super chat. Since you already know who Fandaniel later becomes, have you noticed how much Elpis resembles Azasla in purpose, if not aesthetic? Hadn't really hmm. thought about it. Sure. Does, it, I guess you're right. It just doesn't seem as torturous as Azasla. But well, I guess they are just like willy nilly killing things that aren't working. Yeah, he's like, this didn't work. Let's but kill it. Hermes wasn't into that, so that's that's an interesting comparison to make. But he's like the only person who wasn't. Yeah, into it. everyone else is just like, yeah, just unless kill he kind of had like a big effort energy, you know, when it was all done. Emmett has big Emmett energy. Effort energy is what I said. I heard what you said. Okay. Uh, oh, and uh, and as as you did say last super chat. By the way, next Tuesday will be our our super forum where we will rewatch our footage from the previous streams and enjoy and y'all's go comments. Through, go through all of the supers. We yeah. Missed. Yeah, so if you point out something awesome, if we missed you tonight, if we missed you now. Because while we may be the greatest stallers, we have our own limits. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> yes. yes. So thank you all for the support that makes these streams without ads possible. And everyone, There's always one person like, there's, uh, there's like one person who stalled, but let me have this. The, the, I, yeah. I, want the, I want the accolade I of the... I just want to be best at something. Stallingest stallers that ever stalled. That's what I want. That's what I want. Big dog energy. I want I want someone to like submit a story to like a video game website. Like, you know, I don't know. Oh, yeah. Anyone I mentioned, someone's going to get mad. So it doesn't matter. Top don't... 10 greatest stallers no. in Final no, Fantasy <laughs> streaming history. I, I want like a, I want, I want someone to submit our story to like Polygon. I want a headline that just says, these two weirdos took two years to beat Final Fantasy XIV. But we also did all the content and That's all the I cool want. stuff. And, That's what I want. And, and damn it, when we're... Uh, I mean, think of I mean, think of it, man. When we're modern, you know, and a patch comes out, like we're gonna have weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks of content. It's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be freaking awesome. It's gonna be good. To- oh, oh, aren't you presumptuous with your white robe? <laughs> the white robe means I am down for anything, and I mean anything. The lore. Inform me as such. Oh, so you're this is the equivalent of putting a pineapple? In yeah, exactly. Or okay. having the fishbowl up front. Like, I am down for anything. You know what I mean? Uh, I only recently became aware of the fishbowl. And let me tell you, once you know that, Jim Carrey's The Grinch hits a it's different way. It's a little way. different, yeah. Hits a different way. You're down for anything. It hits a different way. Yeah. Yeah. Also, you know, I figured with, uh, you know, we were adventuring with Vanah. It's all fun and dandy to be wearing awesome awesome future glasses but uh i assume even in my own ellison way i will be emoting in some way possibly upward this evening oh wait did you get bullied out of your sunglasses no not at all okay if anything i want to make that clear did I, you did you hear me talk about your fashion thrilled. sense on uh Taliesin and Evitel's no i didn't i didn't today. see that no oh, okay uh Taliesin 
I was talking about how uh, the what's the thing? What's the new thing where you get space points and you can buy stuff and in, in World oh, of Warcraft? Oh, the trading, the trading post? post. Yeah, they were talking about the trading post, and they're like, "Garrett, you, you seem like you only play classic. Do you know anything about the trading post?" And I'm like, "I know that it, I'm just wholly uninterested in it." And 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 Taliesin is like, "Garrett, I have seen how you dress in Final Fantasy 14, so I know you care about this kind of stuff because you get like cosmetics." Oh, and stuff. sure. And and he starts going, "I saw." Your ridiculous 80s sunglass, and I was just like, "Oh, he had the character." How wrong. dare you? Oh, I was like, "How dare you?" And I believe I described assumption. you as having the fashion sense of a blind mole in the ground. Um, and then it was for comedic effect. I said, "I, however, have the best fashion sense in the world," and I told him I was deeply offended that he confused me for you. But you do dress like SpongeBob, the same outfit every time. <laughs> that is fair. <laughs> I, am a, I am a cartoon It's a character. good outfit. It's a Absolutely. good outfit. I've, I've switched it up while I'm on Elpis. I, I have went and roamed myself. All right. The, 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 the quest is up, sir. The quest is up. Uh, anyway, uh, go on our Discord. It caused quite the stir today. It's ah. been clipped in multiple channels. Oh, I see. I am yeah. accepting. All right. Let's do it. Uh, bu- bu- start recording. Yeah. Flower upon your return. Vina has Argus and his double at heel. Don't you mean triple? Because Val is here. <laughs> but, oh, Jesus. Are you all good? I kicked my water oh, okay. in a jubilant fashion. Let us move over to the edge before mounting, shall we? That will allow Argus to catch the currents rising up from below and give us a smooth ride over the aisle. Ba, 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 ba. Currents in the floof. Borf. Cats in the cradle with the silver spoon. <laughs> and the man on the moon. Is oh that, my god, oh my god. Is that what you were The song at? is Endwalker. On your reindeer? Why are you on a reindeer? Um, oh, well, because we were raiding for charity and I was all dressed up. So, yeah, I should probably, you know, he, he's here in person. We should really celebrate his, he, he's so busy. Elvin, 100% my biggest concern streaming at Kyle's. 100%. Hmm. I can't have a drink. Oh, yeah, not right now. Yeah, I have to yeah, go you, home. Yeah. Oh, I just meant, like, we don't have anything in the house because, you know, oh. <laughs> we, we have a third trimester I mean, pregnant I'm assuming lady we'll be here for, like, four hours. Yeah. I could probably have one drink. Yeah, we just don't own it. Don't call Yeah, we just don't own it. Here he is. So he's, he's yeah. in person. You know, make sure make yeah. sure we represent on, on screen here. All right, I'm, oh, I'm ready. I accidentally clicked on Argus. That's all good. Yeah. Let me My apologies. Up. My apologies. Argos motions to his back with its muzzle. You've been given the go-ahead to hop on. Ride Argos to the aisle. Let's ride. Grab your dog and go. Pretty well synced up there, buddy. Yeah. Oh, that they're saying things. Oh, are they? It's shit? pleasant. It's a pleasant ride. I was like hiding the UI while flying because it's so pretty. Oh, you, that's you pretty. read. I'm gonna hide the UI. I hope I'm the flipping. the arc just comes. The arc. Yeah. The mock just show up yeah. out of nowhere. <laughs> that's the final days, man. Who <laughs> knows what can happen? Now, what is the name of that tree? The tree has a name. No something. Ah, Notophorion? Quite striking specimen, is it not? A Westminster dog show here. <laughs> okay, I need, I'm going to event chat because everyone's yelling these nuts. Um, <laughs> Brace yourself for landing. Wouldn't want you tumbling off at the last moment. Your your chat is is hidden, isn't it? Well, the, I mean, I just it, you know the text was in there with people yelling something about these nuts. Mm. Oh, we're going straight. My immersion. We're pretty sick. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at this shit. This is all right. Quite a small place, lacking even the most basic equipment. There's no spinny. Well, sometimes it, you know, sets itself so it syncs with the music. The present may yield no clues, but we may yet try perusing the past. Have you done this before? Investigated? Sorry, what was that? Investigated? So you cannot control the power freely. Oh. Worry not. Echo. I shall assist you. Come and stand before me.
There are two ways to see the past. The first entails peering through the walls of the soul in the moment a subject is recalling a memory. The second requires no subject and is instead a process of piecing together an event from ripples left in the ambient ether. So As memories are etched enough. upon the ether of the soul, so too are they etched upon the ether of the world. In this way can history be preserved. It's like haunting. I'll Such tell you about Such memories later. are given to fading, however, and can prove challenging to visit. But come, let us try. Close your eyes. fully functional and proceeding on course <laughs> towards their respective stars. Called it. Estimated time to completion of survey is 108 cycles. End of status report. <laughs> Severing connection with shared consciousness. She's a robot. <laughs> Did you hear that, Hermes? All is well. By that estimation, <sighs> everything's a robot that was made by them. Yes. Good tidings at long last. Every step of the way, I've been reminded how little we understand creation. How the universe defies imagination. But soon we won't need to... speculate. We'll know the answers. What others live for. <laughs> Indeed. And we'll owe it all to you and your sisters. <laughs> I wonder what answers we will get. <laughs> Whatever intelligent beings that exist out there are bound to be vastly different from us. Definitely not Diverse in form and culture. Possessed of unique ways of thinking. Their conception of life and its purpose will be no exception. Completely and utterly unlike ours. Utterly unlike... how? <laughs> I have no idea. Horrible Yet decisions. whatever answers we receive, I will not dismiss them out of hand. No. I will think earnestly on them all. And I will share them with our people, that together we may contemplate our own existence. Perhaps then our star will become a better place. Not only for man, but for all life. Meteon, as though I gave you wings to soar the heavens, I did not teach you how to walk the earth. So loath was I to bind another living being. In the course of your long journey, you will learn from those you meet, learn to walk and run so much more. And when you return, older and wiser, we will have a celebration to mark your homecoming and coming of age both. Will there be apples covered in syrup? And how are you supposed to eat them? Hmm. Rather than food, perhaps... A flower. Yes. Upon your return, I will gift you a beautiful flower. going to go so poorly mm-hmm because if you were saying that the game is like wildly louder than us don't know you know as always i don't know how much stock but oh well we're also talking quietly because we're watching and enjoying yes so what is your opinion
I'm feeling that second one. The man Ozymandias, the world. Wait, what? Watchmen? Okay, yeah, the world? In a sense, sort of. It went all wrong. I want to go too, because he thought everyone was so pure and awesome that they could handle the thought of intelligent life off the planet, but instead it caused a world apocalypse. If we're running with my theory that him finding alien life was what caused what, everybody what to freak out. he just finds the beasts out in the space and basically invites them to come murder everybody? Could be, but he seems pretty positive on the idea that aliens would be a good thing for everybody. Well, he, 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 yeah, but, but the... Isn't the simplest answer like usually the right one? Like, doesn't that further usually. complicate it? It's like, also there's aliens, and then we go, well, well, wait, what are the aliens like? Does it matter? It just freaks them out, and they start summoning monsters. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I feel like, I feel like a, an alien beyond, like, the first beasts and those kind of things is one complication too many it was free what's free oh my god <laughs> oh my god oh my word Evan. um uh, but by the way well the way my screen is set up kyle can see super okay <laughs> like chat like just getting but, like, what, what, what i was gonna to say my head. uh there's a theory in ghosts that granite and particular brick and other sorts of earth metals can hold memories so it was an interesting connection that not only the echo can work on people, but also environments. And in our own world, there is a ghost hunting theory that older building materials can absorb repeat motions. And that's why maybe a rocking chair would rock creepily by itself is because somebody rocked in it so many times that it absorbed the energy and they're not really the spirit at all, but merely the motion I've that. never heard this. That's cool as hell. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, we should do a podcast about our beliefs in ghosts. But we should also make a decision. Okay. I like number two because it's I like, like number two as well. He's, it, it, it's, it, I believe this. What a, I am also concerned. What an concerned. innocent man. This is what I believe. I also have concerns. Okay. Three, two, one, go. Heard how early you clicked. That's right. I, I, I need understand. to remember. You're not on Discord. He is a gentle soul and well-intentioned. Yet it does not take ill intent to beget ill. We must consider the possibility that something may have gone awry. Perhaps it was oversight or simply an accident. In light of this, I propose that we reveal your tale to Hermes himself. If he does not wish for the final days as we believe, he may well join us in pursuing a solution. Nine solutions? Then it is settled. Let us seek out our friend with all swiftness. It would not do to let such a pure soul be blackened by tragedy. But I already told you that he ends in tragedy. <laughs> Well, I, I find this fascinating. Yeah. The whole thing, like knowing what, what they know, but still reacting in the way that they do. But is it inevitable that this already happened? Is this a simulation, a memory we've entered? Like we don't, we still don't kind of know that. I'm we're not sure it's ever going to explain these. it. I don't think we're going to get that explained. No, and I don't think we should explain I, 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 I that. Think I think, think that's a perfectly good. I think good... was nebulous and I think it shall remain nebulous. I agree. I think it will be nebulous. Uh, Eva, that is wildly wildly generous thank you for it um uh y'all just cleared alexander savage oh my god <laughs> with your family dad and sis wow all it took was mom telling dad look i don't know what way markers are but if i have to keep hearing the girls complain about you not using them i will make it your problem <laughs> Uh, Excellent. Eva, we've accused you of going for the coolest family award. I think you've officially secured it. It's too late. You've already won. <laughs> Stop winning. Well done. GG. Congratulations on your clear. <laughs> thank you for the support. And thank you for sharing. That's a late, delightful story. Um, shall we? Vina. I'm ready. What's with the searchlight down there? Oh, it's the beacon yeah, yeah, we were behind. They're, they're we're the just thing. seeing it from a different angle. Okay. Vina says, There are a number of places where Hermes might be in Elpis. We keep losing him. 
But we could do worse than to look in... Catesis? Tesis? Do I ignore that K? What do I do with that K? Just go Hyperborea. That one's easy. <laughs> Hyperborea. The largest facility. It stands in... Ethoselaticos Boreas, the Northern Isle. I wonder, Valentuna, for an institution which claims to studiously research every species destined for release into the world, did you not question how they find room for them all on so few islands? Not really. I, I saw a massive, like, biodome built by people with our technology, so I figured you had something, nutty. Also, MMOs often have, like, shrunken down lands, which are supposed to encompass, like, a large land, so yeah, didn't, didn't, didn't worry about didn't, it. Never enter my yeah, mind. No, it doesn't, doesn't work. No, but not. Never enter my mind. The answer lies within... Did, did, did I get a... Did I get a... Let's see. B -b 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 Ketesis. Okay. The answer lies within Ketesis itself. I touched upon the practice before back at the archives, where a vast area is stitched together out of multiple conceptual spaces. The same holds true for the interior of this facility and its magically constructed environs. Tis there, within those sprawling habitats that the chief overseer and most of Elpis's observers conduct the bulk of their work. Come, the simplest route is via the Neus north of Poitin Oikos. I think she's just being too innocent. He doesn't want to be found. He's off doing his secret shit. <laughs> no, man, he's bummed, man. He just like watched a bunch of his creations get put to the sword, basically. Remember, he got all mad and, and really started to sound like Van Daniel. Yeah, sure, sure. But should, probably that upsetness is accelerating his plans, and he's gonna be like, "I'll show you, I'll show you aliens. It's gonna be so great." What aliens? What? What do you think aliens were? I think it looks like a first beast. What do you think? I think it looks like shadow men. Oh my God. I, th I think it looks like a first beast that ate five other first beasts in a sort of human centipede. That's a great idea. Let's make no, that. No, it's a really round bird. Oh, with a mask on. Let's do that. <laughs> well, Gunslinger, thanks for the generous super earlier. Uh, said wanted to steal Garrett's words after this week's video and say... Never change, Kyle. <laughs> I won't. I'm set in my ways. I was really happy that so many of you uh, enjoyed the three camera setup for the video. Yeah, it was fun to see the compliments on that. I watched like a good chunk of it with Katie. She was uh, properly laughing at almost any time you looked at the camera. And I was like, <laughs> yo, Kyle took to having a new camera to look at like uh, like a fish to water. Like, this appears to be no a training. Order. Kyle needed no training. And if I'm not mistaken, this is your first time ever being in a room with more than one camera. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it was fun. It was fun as no hell. No training on Kyle there. This this man was born to stare longingly into multiple cameras. <laughs> I was very proud of him. Motes of light yet hang in the air, suggesting the device was but recently activated. Proceed to EB. I, I, I've got to start recording and shit, man. Erectile dysfunction. Didn't wait for me at all. Oh, there's no cussing. No, yeah, we're, okay. we're the, there's people here already. How did this happen? How could how could people possibly know where we were going? How could people possibly know? Uh, now I should be recording. I stopped recording. Now I should be recording. Getting used to it. Got a new layout here. Ah, uh, good. The Naeus acknowledged you as my guest. You should now have the authority to use it as you wish. As... For well, the way to Ketesis, we follow this path, then turn left at the crossroads. Very well. Good to see you. You better be a red mage. Are you a red mage? <laughs> Summoner. Ah, oh, missed opportunity. He's just like red, man. Yeah, no, I'm just saying. <laughs> He's just like red. <laughs> I'm not a white mage either. Who am I to talk? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you've been a real white mage. Yeah, right? Oh, we got... We got some buff ass monsters that want to eat us. Mm, well, you know, great ideas all around. Mm. Like the shark, like the mighty shark. I'm just gonna say, Kyle. Mm. You know, I'd be geeking out more about the very Amoritine architecture. I just, I'm just not a big fan of the red. I, I liked it better when it was like blue monochrome. Oh, I like, I like a, a brick. The brick. It's full I of, like a full brick of ghosts. Too, but not, not. Oh shit! When it's a structure Sorry. this big. 
Kyle just clicking on shit while we're in. Oh the no, it's of it's a read. It's a read. Camera camera how suggesting reading. We're okay. How I'm dare excited. You? I'm excited. You know, I'm, how I'm, dare? I'm just excited. I know you're excited, but how dare you? Just just how you know? How dare? You? Oh, shit. Here we are. I can't I can't geek out every time I hear the song. Hmm? I saw you over there. And then you, it, it felt like you gave up because I didn't. No, I was just doing the final little. Oh. Yeah, I was just enjoying right. my initial journey. Okay. I wasn't going to keep doing it. Here we are, the grandest research facility in Elpis. We should head inside and ask after Hermes' whereabouts. <laughs> Hermes is in another facility, as we just discovered. The princess is in another castle. Oh. It wasn't the Star Wars guy. <laughs> Whoa, comes to help us. The final days. I was going to say, it's probably one of these two. Furthermore, we've confirmed that his studies into Dynamis, as well as his creation of Medion, were entirely private pursuits. No one else we spoke with appeared to possess the chief's depth of knowledge on the subject, and neither did we hear any tales of stolen research. Which means that if Hermes himself labors no desire to bring down an apocalypse, then he might be recruited to help prevent one. Or so sayeth the illustrious Emmetza. According to your story, the Fourteen divined the connection between the celestial currents and the final days, but were never able to pinpoint the root cause of the calamity. With our people's greatest minds, not to mention Hithodeus's sharp eyes, committed to the pursuit of a solution, such an outcome seems inconceivable. The only possible explanation is if the nature of the catalyst was so inexplicable that even we failed to perceive it. And what better fits that description than the invisible, intangible dynamis? Which in turn leads us to our next question. How did Hermes, in his role as Van Daniel, not recognize the subject of his own research? We must assume that he either knew and was unable to help, or that he was otherwise prevented from identifying the cause in the first place. At this juncture, all we can do is speculate. To be clear, the Convocation does not tolerate acts of deception or malice. We are practiced at perceiving truth, and would have known had Fen Daniel lied to us. Hermes has no conscious wish for the world to end. Of that, I am certain. It seems there is more to the tale after all. Oh, thank you, Anomimi. Mini? Anomimi. I'll get there. I'll get there. Ah, we conducted an investigation of our own, you see. Aliens. <laughs> How comforting. We seem to have reached the exact same conclusion. I see no reason to delay further. Tis time we brought Hermes into the fold, as it were. <laughs> what the hell kind of what did we not do a side quest why, why? yeah did we, did we, did we miss why a, even bother should we have roll quested before this you know what uh thank you for understanding <laughs> just dot, dot, dot. thank you that's for all understanding it's all I, i'm dumbfounded so i'm going with the ellipsis okay you, you what'd you get save your thanks i did not say i believed your ridiculous story and I got, this does not mean I believe your ridiculous story. But as Emmett Selk, I have a duty to examine any potential threat to our existence, no matter how ludicrous 
or personally offensive I may find it. Baka. <laughs> what? <laughs> what did you, did you say? <laughs> no, I said Baka. It's, oh. like, it's not like I like you or anything. When you hit complete quest, Sith Lodeo starts giggling in the background. Yep. What yep. a nice little yep. touch. What a nice little touch. I was imagining Emmett going, didn't say I believed you, fucker. <laughs> there, I, I, have, I have one of these. There we go. I can't hear it. Oh, yeah, you can't hear I'm it. I'm monitoring it, my it own It would game still tonight. cut off your microphone, yeah. I think. Yeah, I'm doing my best with my voices. It's, it's kind of difficult not hearing myself. Yeah. I'm, you know what I could do? I don't love doing it, but I could do what I do at my place sometimes, which is feed an ear, a single earbud that I... Oh, you could. Inside, yeah. And I could also like, like an eSports. Like an eSports. Like an eSport. Yeah. I, I am an eSport. I am an eSport. Yes. Hithla is definitely a giggler. 100%. Do not approach me. Do not speak to me. Do not dare presume to treat me as a friend. I'm merely carrying out my duty. See, warn me when you're going to read Emma, because I want to read it. I want to be paying <laughs> attention when you read it. <laughs> merely carrying out my duty. Don't buy posters of me that are unlicensed on some sort of metal printing material. Do you have any clue how much unlicensed Emmett merch I have accrued? <laughs> Do you have any idea? Don't you dare. Unless 20% goes to the... <laughs> Save the Emmett Fund. You know, if Hithlo Deus played Final Fantasy XIV, there'd be comments in his, uh, his streams saying, I really wish you'd stop making jokes at such serious points. I know, right? Yeah, yeah just... Yeah. Really, if you don't like jokes, he's if you don't the like mood. jokes, he's you don't like Hippodeus. You don't rock. like Hippodeus. Hunger in the garden. Hunger? I hunger. Oh, I thought it was thunder in the garden. No, well, that's meant that might be the joke. This Sunday, 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 thunder in the garden. I think it's time for... Uh, Hippodeus is eager to find Hermes. I think it's time for a leisurely exploration. Wait, I think the time for leisurely exploration is past. If I might have a moment to adjust my vision. There he is. On the next aisle over, Medion is with him. Hermes appears to be in the midst of an observational study, but I suggest we hurry over before they venture elsewhere. Head straight down the path. We can teleport to Misosups Eros from the device at the bottom of the slope. It sounds like sound effects when you just try and say things fast. Right. Well, that dragon's having a hard time walking. He's got to take a poop. That's <laughs> <laughs> what it looks like. It's called corporalite. What? Dinosaur poop? Are you? I feel like you're intentionally looking up obscure things. So that you, you can tell know, me things you've that never I've never been no. to the children's museum. I have when I was a child. Yeah, I don't remember that. I, the poop was not the part about dinosaurs I was interested in. <laughs> oh, it, it, there it is. Oh my god. See, I'm even getting I'm even getting uh, poop splained in the chat. I didn't even I kept it short. Well, yeah, it's the it's the internet. Yeah, but you're my friend. I don't, I, don't I kept it short you for you, me. but you know they want to tell you more about it. You're my real life friend. I'm not expecting to get poop splained by you. Although I guess actually of all my friends, you are definitely the number one candidate for poop splay. Probably. Yeah. Never mind. I'm clicking on Emmett. Never mind. It's total oh god. Thank you. You, you thank alerted you. you told me to thank alert you. Thank you. All right. So Emmett's optional dialogue that I'm going to record for posterity is what you ex what? You expect me to praise you and your progress? On the contrary. I'm simply surprised you made it this far. Then again, even if even with you slowing her down, there is no denying that Vinar is an accomplished researcher. Her wealth of wisdom and experience is unmatched, and her achievements and creation magics in any field, frankly, are nothing short of extraordinary. Though the singular brilliance which sets her apart can make her motives somewhat impenetrable at times. As her student and successor puts it, she is a force of nature. Look at this beautiful bush. You told me to read. I know, but do you see my, this bush is beautiful. <laughs> Back left. Yo, Halo 1 had that tech. It looks, that's a beautiful <laughs> bush. <laughs> is this your special bush, Kyle? <laughs> it's, it's mine and mine. Oh, it's, it's done being special. <sighs> She's a force of nature at once so close and at the same time so very distant. There you go, Kyle. Thank you. 
do, do, you, do you all know? Do you all know what it is like to try to, to, and stay a course with this man? Do you, do you have any? Do you have any idea? Being in the same room and being apart on the internet makes no difference. You, you just you see something, and you go for it. Just thought you should know a moment of beauty is happening. It's about appreciate. It's the final days, man. You gotta you, appreciate the little things. You have a real sunset now that you can go see, <laughs> like a proper it's, it's over true. the, it's over not the gray water every night sunset. Yeah, you can see the the, the sun dip below the the well the gulf. I'm clicking hit the day. I'm just I'm just saying, I'm just saying. They're close by. Within the hungering gardens, that would be the circular enclosure you see just up ahead. Well then, Valentuna, make yourself useful and bring Hermes out here to us. If I were to go, he would assume I was only there to press him on the Fandaniel matter. Of all us present, you stand the best chance at convincing him to put aside his work for the moment. But the creations in there are not exactly... Mm. Then again, perhaps Valentuna can handle them. They did survive a bout with Vena, after all, canonically. Eventually. Some of us. Off you go to find Hermes, but do be prepared to come to blows with the garden's denizens. As long as they're not butterflies. But does anyone have anything new to say? No. Nope, nope. Okay. Nope. Yep, 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 yep. We've Hitler been here before. Hippos Ace would have something new. Hungry Abandoning Emmett. Hermes. Oh, he's just uh, focus on your task. Okay. Abandoning Emmett. Uh, no, I think he's talking where, behind us. Where yeah, we we're, yeah, yeah, he's talking behind us. That's yeah, where we're we going came up from. the thing. Pardon me, dogs. The hungering goo. Goo. Oh yeah, we got you know some some unique architecture. Some, oh, what is some weird stool? Oh, what <laughs> that, that spawned in? What what was the what was the planet at the end of Half Life One? Oh gee, I that's what this looks yeah, like. Yeah, I don't remember. Oh, that. oh god, are we being attacked? Yeah, yeah, they, these things are very mad these at us. But we're basically inside a giant quest, so this whole thing is. All right, I'm fighting. Yep. I'm just gonna start using my new buttons and see what happens. I might make a lot of things mad doing this. Where are you? Oh, we're not in the party. Oh, we aren't in the party. I can't. I can't. I can't help you if I can't find you. Invite to party. Is there, do we know if there's a dungeon tonight? I'd really like to do a dungeon. Promote. It's been a while. Promote. Yes, there is a dungeon I am aware of because we were told to tell people a thing when we get there. Tell people a thing? Yes. The MS curator said, tell people in advance that you're not doing the thing and you'll do the thing another time. So that makes me feel like the dungeon's the last thing we're doing tonight. I would assume so, but you know, don't worry about it. Plus, it has been a while since the dungeon, you know? It was... It's been a minute. Yeah. Search for Hermes. So we're still searching for him. Where you know, is Hermes? We don't necessarily have to murder everything Where inside Where is me. that lovable scamp? Oh. Who loves to fly around transformed in front of God and yeah, everyone. Yeah, but naked in the it's, air. They, he's not saying they actually get naked. He's saying it's the same social faux pas Flapping as running in around the wind. Naked. Like a heathen. Oh my god. Botanical bears down. Okay, so, you know, by being where, around. Where are we going? Well, it's somewhere in this area. You know, we're in the zone. There's so many things around, and they're aggro very easily. Well, that's kind of the point, is this is the, you know, hungering garden. <laughs> I wasn't calling that into question. Simply that I have no effing idea where I'm supposed to go. I mean, you might think the middle. Slash target Hermes. Are you Hermes? No. I'm gonna, I'm gonna would circumvent. You, would you say it's Savage Garden, you monsters? <laughs> Lalafell, nope. <laughs> where, where, where? Seriously, like, where are we going? Is it on the outskirts? Nah, that's why I'm doing, I'm, I'm gonna spiral my way in.
I saw someone who looked like Hermes, but it was a I know, I got that one too. Ah, oh, here he is. Ah. Oh, yeah, he's got a mark and everything. How did I miss you? I'm pretty sure. Well, I he's behind a rock, to be fair. <laughs> kind of hiding. Yes. My only oh, weakness. Despawned. All right. Hermes says. Was I Hermes? Were you Hermes? Uh, you were Hermes. I was Medion. Can't think of what Fandaniel sounds like now. Although I guess he doesn't really talk like Fandaniel most of the time. Yeah. He's very soft-spoken. Just, just kind of sound like a person. <laughs> <laughs> A whole person. I, I, I like to, I like An to try an impression person. when I, yes. when I can do A whole impression. person, please. <laughs> Tuna, Val, what are you doing here? I thought you were keeping Hithododeus and Emmett's self company. Well, we're worried that you found aliens. An important matter? And unrelated to my decision on Fandaniel, you say? Then yes, I will come as soon as my work here is finished. It will not be long, I promise, but you should really wait outside the garden with the others. This is no place for idle exploration. Yeah, we, we know. We, All right, he'll be right here. Things it's, tried to eat us many it's times. Fine. Studio K stands for chaotic. <laughs> <laughs> I accept. They sure love that word. I mean, yeah. I mean, we are come. Yeah. It's know. just, you know, they're, I don't know what you're on they're about. being old timey. And they've decided that's what they're going with. Also, you know, honestly, they probably get a giggle. Ko Koji old. seems the type to get a giggle every time. He... And their protege. This game is very cummy. The team. The whole team. Just giggling nonstop to themselves. <laughs> I see you in chat, Matt. I see you. Click on Emmett. <laughs> oh, uh, uh. <laughs> I do want to just uh, shout out KLG Chaos. Thank you for the super. Enjoy your old fashioned. Ooh, Enjoy it for me. Nice. I hope you made it extra stiff. Actually, no. I hope you made it perfectly balanced as all things should be. What a ghastly odor. <laughs> Let me start recording my, my optional Emmett dialogue. <laughs> Must be documented. I don't know what Emma dialogue I missed when I was driving, but I caught so much flack from people being like, you missed Emma dialogue. I'm like, I'm pretty sure I clicked on him like every yeah. chance I got. Anyhow, are you Hithlodeus? We've come a long way since stop clicking the optional dialogue, Kyle. Well, have we or do I just care about this optional dialogue? That, 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 might, be that, that might be it. Hithlodeus says. You spoke with Hermes then? And... We're briefly entangled with denizens of the Hungering Garden as well, I see. Or should say, smell. I cannot, I cannot speak for certain uh, convocation members, but I, for one, am impressed with your fortitude. Well done indeed. Now that you've convinced Hermes to confer with us, let's pray that things will soon take a turn for the better. For as fascinating as it would be to meet the Emic Silk who would recreate Amarat in the depths of the ocean, I think it is best for all concerned if such tragic events never came to pass. Be it in our future or your past, assumingly yours is not truly written in stone. Naive, naive hope, I, uh, that is. You got there. Have some money. Flo says, I'm oh, so forward for thinking. I simply wish to enjoy all that life has to offer. Uh, Hithlo is a hedonist. Perhaps. Makes sense hanging out with Emmett. I could take that so many ways. Words without sound. Emmett Selk seems content to stay where he is. Hermes said he would not be long, yes? Then we shall wait here until he emerges. And emerge he shall. Oh, they, 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 they should make us wait the very long time <laughs> it would take to walk that distance. My apologies for keeping you waiting. I understand there is a matter you wish to discuss. A matter you wish to discuss. I don't think I can do that voice. I'm not sure where that is, register-wise. Mm. Anyways, three, two... One, go. Those eyes, like a doll's eyes. Aye, 
a matter of the utmost gravity. If one can suspend disbelief. <laughs> he Go on then. He's the best. Tell him what you told us. Mm. Who you are and why you came. Black and white ribs are gonna look the so final cool. days. The phenomena observed during these star encompassing calamities is likely the product of a dynamous reaction. And none is more vast in the applications of this energy than you, Hermes. I must stress that we do not believe you would desire such destruction. We come not to lodge accusations, but to beg your wisdom. And so, distressing though the exercise may be, I ask that you share with us your opinion on the matter, on the assumption that our visitor's tale is true. Even you, Vanna. As you say, the phenomena observed in the two calamities may both be attributed to Dynamis. Of note is the difference in its effect. In the first final days, it warped creation magics. In the second, it warped the people themselves. Wow, we really, really gave a lot of detail. The key variable, I suspect, is the etheric density of the men of each age. As you know, ether, in essence, negates dynamis. Harboring high concentrations of ether, we ancients cannot readily manipulate dynamis, nor be manipulated by it. Therefore, rather than ourselves, the calamity affected our magics. In contrast, having been sundered, the people of the future are composed of but a fraction of our ether. Thus are they susceptible to the influence of Dynamis and its transformative potential. But that would explain only the mechanism, not the cause. Though perhaps... That's why we're here. What is it? Even should it be a hypothesis, we would hear it. Dynamis is an energy put in motion by feelings. Feelings for which there must first exist a source. A source to which the victims must be attuned. One that harbors the self-same negative emotions. Elsewise, it could not be the agent of such extreme change. So it wasn't the stagnation of the celestial currents. Someone or something is instigating the star's demise. So, we've a villain on our hands after all. Any idea who or what it could be? I love it. The celestial currents comprise the outermost layer of the star's ether, encasing it like a protective sphere. According to your tale, it was where the currents were weakest that the phenomena first manifested. If the inciting factor came from without a theris, then its effects would first be seen in those locations. Greetings. Can you hear me? Now she's Siri. <laughs> Do not be alarmed. I mean you no harm. Oh, Jesus Christ. It's aliens. I wish only to hear aliens. your words. Share your feelings. Know your thoughts. May we please be friends. Nice. Oh my God, you were right. Meteon. What is it? Executing scheduled task. Suspending individual self and connecting to shared consciousness. 
Connection established. Commencing status report. Steady. So scared. So lonely. The pain. It's too much. <laughs> Why? Why? Why do we? Hurt. Oh, no. Hurt. Yes. No. Oh, it's doing. Oh, it's doing. She's gone, but how? She has altered her etheric density in order to blend in with her surroundings, an ability for avoiding confrontation. She has stealth mode? Yeah, she has a chameleon, yeah, chameleon mode. Most effective. Frustratingly so. I can't see her either. Not even a trace. Stay away. Please. This is wrong. My mistake. So please. Are you all right? In your mind? No. We only heard her speak the instant before she vanished. Of course. When communicating without words, Meteon also employs Dynamis. That will explain why you were able to hear her when we could not. Then you are our best chance of finding her. Follow her voice and try to track her down. It's cute. It's cute connection. We just watched the a third person bleed from the eyes in your same search as well. No, we did, we did a bunch of quests to like, you know, sync up and stuff. And that's cool. And I mean, we might have like an alien hive mind on our hands who, or something. Who crap, got this so. right? Who got this right? Who saw this coming? We're, we're going to travel to the past and then uh, Fan Daniel is going to find aliens <laughs> and they're going to talk through <laughs> a Siri person that yeah. we've never met before. Yep. And they're going to, they're going to scar you into having nightmares about black and doubt goo eyes mm -hmm. and that's that's endwalker in yep. her bird called thighs. it called it who bird called thighs? this bird who called thighs. this bird highs did you, who who called this did anyone actually call this <laughs> <laughs> me liar <laughs> I'm, I'm honestly i'm 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 <laughs> I'm mad at no point in all of our cooking did it's you go, me. Yeah, maybe it's aliens, because it seems like something you would have said. <sighs> and Walker predicted Twitter's fall. Yep. Yep. It's, it's, the, it's the Simpsons effect all over again. A suspicious disturbance. All right, so we got to find, we got to find Medion. To me, I here? have a suspicious, suspicious oh, oh, disturbance. You, oh, you found it. A suspicious you feel a disturbance in the dynamis. Well, I, you know, I, she's not super stealth. True invisibility. She's not true invisibility. She's leaving tracks. Oh, okay, okay. You calm your mind. Your senses questing for any hint of Meteon's Dude. presence. Dude. Not there yet. Oh God, I'm recording this whole time. Good. This is all important. But you failed to hear her voice. She must be elsewhere. I'm gonna follow the path. Uh, there's you can't. We're, we're oh, leaving the yeah, circle. Yeah, I guess the circle's over. I found one. Calm your mind. You sense? Yep. Same. Same message. It seeps into my mind. Our voices reporting. Sorry, you were meeting. No, no, Hermes mustn't hear them. I have to run. To hide. Ideon's anguished voice grows distant 
as the source seems to flee down the slope. Hey, there we go. We have a heading. Some direction. We have our heading. Is that your cat that just goes, ah, meow? Yeah, it's the fat cat. Doesn't sound like a meow. Meow. Sounds like well, someone being lewd. I don't know. Have you ever seen a, like, have you heard like really fat cats? <laughs> that sounds like a cat. Yeah, that's you a get cat. off. You strain to catch even the faintest whisper, but fail to hear Medion's voice. She must be elsewhere. <laughs> it sounds like it a is moan. Five hundred percent. You apologize. It sounds like a moan. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry for what he's saying. You do, pervert. I found it. I found one. Nope. I found one. On me. On me. On me. Hey Kyle, you remember when we used to play Apex Legends? Run for it, Marty. The Libyans. Yep. The aliens. Ooh, nice. What? Oh, we're just synced up. Oh, we're nice. Yeah. Look at us. Greetings and salutations. I am an alien. <laughs> that would be ridiculous. Oh, hello. Commencing report. Oh no, no. Wait, hang on. Hang on. Go now. Megaphone? No, that doesn't really work. Times, what do I get? Uh. It's not a robot. It didn't sound like a robot. No, no. But you know. Oh, this is her in her mind. Oh no, no. We can't tell them that. We must run. Run far, far away. Why are you whispering? Because the boys are back to school. Please, don't follow me. Medion's anguished voice fades as you sense her climbing to the top of the ridge. That does not sound like a meow. <laughs> I can change amounts if it upsets you too no, much. No, no, no. I just, I just want you to admit it. <laughs> we were both trying to cut a corner there. I did, uh, you know, as much as it weirded me out to hear your audio on Tuesday's stream, I liked it for one reason, one reason only, humming at the same time as you to the song. Mm. Yeah, it's something we, we weren't able to do before. Yeah. And I can't do it now because my music is not in tune yeah. with yours. That was a good model. Lots of uh, arc models around this area. Yup. What does it mean? What does the pink rhino mean? <laughs> I'll tell you next video. <laughs> and record. All right. right clicking. You strain to catch even the faintest whisper, but fail to hear Medion's voice. She must be elsewhere. I assume it's down this. Oh, Emmett's over there. Hey, found oh, it. Oh, hey, found it. Free, found em, it. free Emmett. Hold on, what's Emmett saying? Yeah, what? Uh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Oh, this is an exercise in futility. You have to be the one to find her, Tuna. And Val, follow her voice. Thank you for including me. There's one right here, but there's also one by that tree. Your Ellison friend looks like a tree. Must be elsewhere. Okay. Go tree. Win, go win, go win. Through the tree. By the Acantha. Now, you're still rolling around with your Nero car. How? How did it come to this? This is the reason we traveled to the stars. Why we sought out other life forms. These are, these are inflected with question. Is this it? Is this the answer? No, it cannot be. It cannot be. 
anguish voice drifts away to the south. To the south. But it don't. Pardon me. But it don't. I'm upsetting the wildlife. But it don't. Oh, the blue trees are pretty. Blue tree. Oh, yeah, they are. Shame about green light and all that. What? Oh, you know the you know, photosynthesis and you know the plants like being green. <laughs> so in our world, we don't have. Sure, it's a shame those plants can survive. Right? Bastards. Give us oxygen. Let us breathe. Make it so we can live. Strain to catch the faintest whisper. Must be elsewhere. Okay. Because uh, we're going the distance. Going for speed. We're not alone. Ooh. Extremely not alone in our time of need. Oh, fun. One over here by the tree. Roop. Doesn't look like a real one, but... <laughs> Who am what, I to say? What would a real one look like? Well, you know, more central in the area we are. Oh, it is a real one. That'll show you. Oh, my God. Can't call anything. Too far away. Too far away. Kyle's predictions are wrong. Except when they're extremely right. Like when you pull aliens out of your butt. It was, it was exploring space. Yeah, no, yeah, no. That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> I was like, aliens just seem like it'd be one too many complications. But I'm wrong. Never mind. Compiling report for... Dissemination. To Hermes and all the people of Atheris. Oh, are you going to tell all the people of the planet that there's aliens at the same time? Processing. Expedition data. Preparing profiles on intelligent civilizations. Formulating answers to the question. Finalizing report. No. Val, Tuna, you mustn't listen. It's wrong. It's all wrong. Medion's anguished voice flees towards the lake. Any sign of Meteon? Panicked and confused, which will make it all the more difficult to predict her movements. Hermes. What do you make of this situation? I gotta come up with more voices. Uh, uh. The Meteor are linked to a single mind, a shared consciousness which connects them across any distance. I suspect something has happened which disrupted its usual harmony. How must we access this shared consciousness of theirs? much as you would approach any sentient being directly. In Meteor's case, that means speaking to any incarnation within physical reach. So unless we track down the Meteon we just lost, we have no means to communicate with them. No way of knowing what befell her sisters. No way to provide directions or guidance. Then we had best set our musings aside and concentrate on how we might find her. Welcome to the Garrett Show, everybody. Nice Enjoy. job. Well done. well done. Well done. Tip your waitress. Oh, yeah. He's fathoming the... Fear is entering his mm -hmm. mind. <laughs> yeah, well, that's, yeah, that's not the problem, though, right? He made a bird that can call the entire planet <laughs> at once. And tell them that aliens exist and they're probably evil. So I hope the dungeon is us killing or attempting to kill the hive mind alien thing that's approaching. That'd be badass. I want to fight we are, moving, we are moving so rapidly quick, man. It's yeah. Like, like, I, don't, I don't even know. Okay. A frantic search will avail us little. We must be clever about this. Hippoday says, "'Tis a shame there is no registered concept we could create another median. Assuming, of course, that we could link to and share the mind. But no. If it were a viable solution, Hermes would have already suggested it. In the final days, Ether is twisted by the invasion of dynamis from beyond the star. It prog 
its progress intensified by feelings of fear and despair and anguish. Nay, I like not the picture which emerges with these latest pieces. All right, Hermes, what you got to say? Oh, my dear Meteon, what did you witness out there that frightened you so? Why do you seek to keep it from us? How terrible could it possibly be? Hippodeus. Hold on, just making sure, just checking, just checking. <laughs> oh my. Yep, 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 I apologize, Hippodeus. <laughs> <laughs> I, I am in your space. Hold on, hold on, we can recreate this. <laughs> Need something? Do you have, I see you have a quest. <laughs> Is that a quest you have for me? <laughs> I am prepared. <laughs> I'm rolling over cables. And thumbnail. <laughs> Perfect. All right. Thank you for the gifted memberships, Ethra. I'm glad that you like our buffoonery. Mm -hmm. All right. Hithlodea says, start recording, coming back. Follow, wander, stumble, listen. Correct me if I'm wrong, but Median rendered herself invisible by matching her etheric density to that of her surroundings, did she not? If so, could we not then disrupt her concealment with a sufficient, or a suffet of ether? Much how M itself solidified your presence when we first met. Don't be absurd. I can hardly channel ether to a recipient whose whereabouts are hidden from me. Which is why we must all work together. Valtuna, we'll continue to search the area in the same manner as before, but this time with you in tow. Once he ascertains yes! Medion's likely location, you proceed to reveal our wayward familiar with a swift, ethereal downpour. Very clever, and thankfully, she has made herself easier to capture by fleeing towards Leith. Assuming she is made visible, it should prove no great feat to hurt her into a corner. Then we have our plan. Val, Tuna, and Emmett so will be our tracker and trapper respectively, while we others predict and obstruct Medion's avenue of escape. Emmett Soak and I will keep an eye on each other's ether to help coordinate our efforts. Let us be about it. Well, it seems we are partners for the time being. Let us return to where we last saw Medion and pick up the trail from there. I will keep myself in a state of preparedness, ready to rain down ether at a moment's notice, meaning it all falls to you to keep the way clear. Evan Silk is now accompanying you. You know what the rest says. <laughs> This is all I wanted. You will this talk to him and Silk. If, uh, th 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 after this credits, right? Yep, yeah, it doesn't just, get yep, better doesn't than get better questing than with Emmett. I want all the conversation circles. All of them. Are there any? Are there just none? No, there's one over here. Oh, well, the suspicious. No, I guess we'll just let's just enjoy watching Emmett run. He, I mean. I believe it's just a standard here run cycle. Yeah, I know, but still, I'm making him run as vengeance. As vengeance? <laughs> we literally killed him. What more vengeance could you possibly need? He's been a dick to me since I've shown up, and I didn't like it. Even though he made me etherically dense. You calm your mind. Click, click the destination, Garrett. <laughs> I need a minute. Okay. Jesus. God Almighty. You calm your mind, your senses questing for any hints of Medion's presence. Why can't I fly? Are my functions being restricted? Hide. Yes. I have to hide then, where no one can find me. Medion's anguished voice heads towards the water's edge. She went into the lake as if this wasn't tiresome enough. Well, at least that open expanse should make her easier to find. We won't lose her this time. 
Oh, oh, there's a conversation circle. Oh, what? Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that. It's stealthy, hidden in the water. In the well, water's I, edge. If you look at your mini map, this is straight up like oh, a comic sure. book yeah, chat. Yeah, okay, the fair, fair. Am I still recording? I'm still recording. <laughs> Dis discuss the water's edge. Let's do it. We should be able to reach the bottom of this drop by climbing down the rocks at the water's edge. Do not even think of dragging me over the falls. Final days or no, if I end up drenched from head to toe, I swear I will feed you to a remora. What about when we just talk? Ugh, the indignation to drag my robe through the water. Hithlodeus better not breathe a word of this to Asm. Still, mild humiliation will be the least of our concerns if we fail to get our hands on Meteon. I think that's it. Yep. And this is part ways. Yeah. I would never part ways with you, Emmett. There was another... Was there another sparkle over here that I did spy? I thought I saw one too, but yeah. I, I wonder if both work. Yeah, the, the sparkle despawned upon... Upon getting the right some sparkle. Some sort of water edge sparkling. It was probably a, uh, a fake out sparkle. Yeah. I'm assuming. Looks to chat for confirmation. Fake sparkles. I took him directly over the falls, says Chris and Celia in chat. <laughs> he requested no. Suspicious disturbance. That is an alligator. Crocodile? Alligator. I'm not sure. It's a fantasy creature. <laughs> the stumpy tails bother me. Oh, that's it. that rock is she very well yes he did the thing why why can't I hide we are surrounded is it Robocop <laughs> what was that just dumb like, voice that was just you know there's no need to run media on we ever it's just a cop thing. Usually That's, when you do a generic voice, you do like a South Park voice, so I was very oh, confused. No, I, I just There's like, no need to run media. <laughs> we get you surrounded. That's what I would expect. I don't want to hear the report. The report is madness. I want to go I top. I kind of want to hear the report, but also Let's media. On, me, well Medion's been very kind to us, so I yeah. also like to be okay. nice to Medion. So yeah, we can okay. uh, it doesn't matter. We don't need to sync up. Tuna, what are you saying? Everything is so faint. I'm sorry. I'm not strong enough to stay away. I'm begging you. Don't make me say it. It will break him, his poor, fragile heart. <laughs> now we have a chance. Once the others are in position, the two of us can herd her into their midst. So it's going to break his heart. I feel like we already know they're hostile. So why would it break his heart more? Well, I know he was helping for kindred spirits. Yes. And maybe that's, you know, maybe that is it. Where's Emmett? I'm going to drag, drag him into these falls. Where is he? We lose Emmett? <laughs> oh, we lost well, Emmett. Well, when you're mounted, he's all, he, you can demount oh, and can get Emmett out. Oh, want. yes. There you go. Yeah, you're in the there falls, buddy. There you go. How's it feel? Oh, well, sadly, I can't see your How's Emmett. How's it feel? No, there's no unique dialogue if you talk to him oh, in the okay. falls, sadly. Well, there is unique dialogue up here. Enjoy your wet robe, Emmett. Yeah. Is that thing still angry at me? in the conversation circle. 
Kyle, could you could you uh, could you hit me with your uh, your your radius? Can we, oh, can oh, we get a little? Uh, oh. can, we would like to request space. Radius. I'm feeling a little crowded by absurd mounts. Damn it! It actually they're technically out of the radius. Oh, they, they, <laughs> we 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 did say we would advance to Earthly Star radius if necessary. <laughs> we can advance to. <laughs> would appreciate uh, bounce up blend in, please and thank you. Uh, we are we we here at on the board of the Elpis HOA find your work truck garish and appalling. Mm. Yes. Wow. <laughs> yes. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, listen, man. I read enough Emmet over the course of the night. I'm gonna just yeah. Turn you, into you know, it's, it's like when I watch Scrubs and Doctor Cox gets in my head. Like I get it. It does happen to me too. Yeah. 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 Sorry. Gotta be careful. Hydrate. Gotta hydrate. <clears throat> hydrate while I scold. I'm um, assuming talking is probably the same. Discuss the Neus. Is this Neus not in use? It seems to have been left to the mercy of the elements. Oh, yeah, it's, it's all mossy and shit. No. Either way, it bears no trace of Meteon's essence. We move on. I'm, I'm just going to check. Yeah, I'm going to check. Yeah, I might as well check the dog. Uh, right? nope, same talk is oh, the yeah. same. Talk is the same. All right, we have our zone. Oh, uh, those are disturbance. Huh? There's a service right here, right, right to the side. Literally. Oh, oh wow, that was close. There, I see her. This means we're gonna have a minute. And it's, it's over. As fast as it came. Well, you know, did actually run. Beats looking for Ivy. What? Back in a realm reborn when you had to find Ivy. Yeah, which one was Ivy? It was like the weird spy thing. Oh, the spy lady yeah. for Elbird. Yeah, that was just really confusing. Oh, yeah. I just remember clicking on boxes. So many boxes. <laughs> all, all those boxes. Uh, down by the water. Down by the river on a Friday night. <laughs> it's a Thursday night, but you get the idea. Is that the talking about love and talk yeah, about it's, women? It's something. Ch so Chattahoochee River, man. Yeah. Get with it. Yeah. We can pick up our Alan Jackson after this cutscene. Three, two, one, go. Give chase. We shall herd her into the shelter. She did the thing. <laughs> You're horrifying. Emmett descending on his extremely <laughs> extra mount. Real, I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed by it. We didn't need to be so sinister about this. It's a little coordinated sinister, yeah, but. Please, Mision. We must speak. At least Hermes. Yeah. I'm sorry, Hermes. I'm so sorry. Oh. 
No, it's a vocal. Car Carthus says. If someone can hear these words, then please. Individual self suspended. Connection with shared consciousness stable. Our survey is complete. We shall now report our findings. All units safely arrived at their respective destinations. Seeking answers to Hermes question, we attempted to make contact with the intelligent denizens of each star. Results are as follows, in order of numerical code. Enna. Traces of civilization found. Structures believed to have served as domiciles. No extant life forms detected. Dio. Ruined remnants of buildings scattered across star, surface of which is encased in ice. Presence of life could not be verified. Interesting. Tria. Evidence of large population centers, akin to cities recovered. No extant life forms found. Only their lingering essence. Badass. Tessera. Edifices surmised to be abandoned residences found. No extant life forms detected. Deadly plague or extreme environmental degradation likely to have led to mass extinction. Dead societies. Dying star, they dead rule. star Omega, maybe? Dead. Because they're getting owned by the super Octo. aliens. Star found in state of violent conflict. There we go. Contact successfully made with inhabitants. But deployment of weapons of mass destruction resulted in total annihilation of local population shortly thereafter. Inea. Star is a barren desert. No identifiable flora found. Bones of living beings resembling men discovered beneath sands. But determination regarding their intelligence inconclusive. Love this. This is fantastic. Remind me, Hermes. What exactly was the question you entrusted to Meteon? I tasked her with asking what others live for. What gives their lives meaning did you consider what may happen if the premise of the question is flawed to be able to answer it one must be living and desire to continue doing so but if meteon finds no living beings in the course of her journey or none who desire to live what then that's dark. What answers would she derive from their silence? <sighs> Meteon, enough! Suspend your mission and return hither at once. Decapente. Local civilization once flourished under auspices of higher power. Said power later laid waste to civilization in fit of rage. Upon revealing this to me, Entity elected to self-terminate in lieu of providing answer to question. No other intelligent life forms found. turning a deaf ear, are we? We are taking Meteon back to Amarot. As I understand, yes. we will need her if we are to bring back all of her sisters. E yes. Okay. Meteon. It 
It isn't right, is it? It isn't right to turn away from the answer. Even if the answer is pain. Even if we aberrations must scream ourselves hoarse to be heard. Aye. Whatever answers we find, I will not dismiss them out of hand. These words I said to you, and I will hold myself to them. What the butts is happening? Oh, this will be like his battle form. What is the meaning of this? You, you cannot, cannot take me to Not until she has finished her report. All else must wait. Win aspected and all that. Master of flight. Well, he said he had to transform to fly. Yeah. You fool! I mean, we saw how hard it was for him to put any of his creations down. Yeah. This makes all the sense in the world that he got this reaction to Medion. Well, but also he wants to hear the end of the report. He hasn't gotten to hear the end of it. You know, there's there's still goodies to await. But they're doing the. But also, can, can we can we go to can we go to Amarant, please? <laughs> I would like I would, I would like to go. To, is Amarant on the menu? It's all red brick. I'm sorry. Red, yeah, oh. they ruined it with the red brick. Oh, it's a shame. Shame. Hi, hi, Karth. Hi, Karth. Hi, what's, how you doing? What's he buddy? doing? Oh, he's he's, rub, your he's water rubbing bottle. on my water bottle. Okay, I am gonna be RB. I'm, I'm sorry. I will be RB. <laughs> Karth, buddy. <laughs> hi, you're welcome to my bubble. Please enjoy your stay. <laughs> I didn't tweet everybody, so please, uh, please excuse me. I don't mean to be rude. But let me grab a link to our own damn thing here. And inform everybody that shit's hitting the fan over here in Elpis. Which, uh, sadly, is easier to do on my phone because uh, I'm not logged into my Twitter on any of uh, Kyle's computers here. Let's, uh, let's, let's grab that link. Share, copy link. We're in the thick of Elpis now. Uh, uh, no, not Elvis. That's how I want to spell it, phone, yes. Ba -ba. Did I get a what? Oh. Was there? Yeah, better guess. Oh, I'm sorry. Sure about that? Yeah. Should still be at the top. Yeah, definitely. Catch it Tuesday if we miss it now. Uh, I saw... Oh, oh frickin'. <laughs> A very generous one from Vernacular Ham earlier just said, welcome to Endwalker. Nah, and I can oh, bet oh, oh, I know when nah, that happened. Okay, okay. I, see, I, I see. bet I can tell. Yeah, we actually got a lot of welcome to Endwalkers. Uh, Thank you for uh, the generosity, of the everybody. End, the welcome to Endwalkers. Yes. Uh, yes. Do you require any sort of breather? Uh, I could stretch my legs. Some, yeah, yeah uh, go for it. Yeah. Uh, you don't have a, one of those wedges in here, do you? Besides that one. You can take that one. What do you desire? This, um, this is an old... Uh, crappy chair, and it's like cutting off my. Uh, my oh, knees. do you need here? Uh, take just, my just wanna, like, take my printer up. boxes. Hmm? Oh no no no! I want to shore up my back. Oh. Um, anyway, it's just it's fine. If you have like a, you have like a pillow or something. I can go get one for you. 
Let me do that because I'd have to. Yeah, I'd have to sneak into. I will stay here and entertain you while Kyle helps my old man back. I did not realize how much I depend on my uh, very lumbar sensitive There's a situation. Blanket, right, that works. Thank you much. Oh, but now that you can entertain, I'm just gonna stretch for yeah, a second. Yeah, yeah. Take a stretch. I'm just gonna stretch. Take a stretch. I'm just gonna stretch. Hopefully not pull any cords. Yep. All right. All right. Hi, hi, everybody. Uh, as a massive Carl Sagan fan, I am enjoying the shit out of this. Uh, you all may have also heard my enjoyment of Ancient Aliens, all other crud like that. Oh my god. Oh my god. They destroyed themselves. Oh my god. Billions and billions. If they did not destroy themselves, what then? Will we find intelligent life? Will they, perhaps, be friendly? Or will they destroy themselves too? I wonder this, for the sake of Ether and Yishtola. If we might all be capable of a future. It's so good. I love that shit. Or the, I think it's called Dark Forest. Dark Forest Theory is like, ooh, ooh. What's Dark Forest Theory? Uh, I believe that's what it's called. So Dark Forest Theory is the idea that uh, the reason we don't receive any alien signals is because everybody's hiding. Because there's evil aliens out there and we're hiding from them. So the horror of the universe is that we're not hearing any aliens because they've either been destroyed or they're smart enough to not send out signals. And we are, in fact, destroying ourselves by destroying, by sending out satellites and stuff. It's so cool. Yeah. Yeah, Reapers, all that. Yeah, Dark Forest, exactly. Exactly. That's so cool. Oh, I love it. I love it. And of course, and I think this is the sort of excuse I was looking for because I didn't want Hermes to be villainous because he unleashed feelings upon the world. It's a natural curiosity. Now, granted, maybe he turned into a monster and flew off and that was a little extreme, but the natural curiosity of he wants to hear the end of the report and protect Medion, which is, you know, nice, but also his innate desire to science took hold. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I, I wasn't... I like... I liked the... I, I enjoyed reading into the fear thing with you, but also... Um. They... they at no point did I feel like they, they didn't have a concept of fear. Like, the way... Emmett talked about Amara and the and Amora teens in Shadowbringers. He talked about them as if they were people with hopes and fears and dreams and like that they. Well, right. I uh, I thought perhaps that might be a greater influence of. Oh, Fitchell! Happy birthday, Fitchell! Uh, <laughs> I thought that might be a greater influence of like temperament and Zodiac that is making him more vain, human, all these sort of things. So there was still that chance when we arrived in Elpis and met real agents that they would be a little bit more godly, but they're very much just people. Mm. And my hair back too long. Need to free the main if we invent bird girls and send them into the reaches of space i believe we got a we got a direct rcc clark arthur c clark ooh, read, uh, ooh, nice. a quote from it is lupus uh, attached to a nice super chat here thank you lupus there are two possibilities either we are alone in the universe or we are not and both are equally terrifying yeah i yeah, love it i think about love that quote it. a lot i think about that a lot i'm i'm very much in the camp of uh it's, it's, numbers games it's statistically ridiculous to think that there's just nothing oh absolutely there. absolutely just there's just too much there's too much space for there to be space. nothing in space space <laughs> i can't can you do a tim curry i can't do it no curry. can anyone <laughs> no, do a tim curry no one can do it i think tim, tim curry is up there tim with um, who's yeah. the guy that's archer and bob from bob's burgers h john benjamin oh i don't yeah. think anyone can do an impression of his voice because it's just his voice. Yeah. 
<sighs> it's, it's right. It's right up there. It's right up there. It's one I've never heard a good impression of. <sighs> All right, let's let's uh, let's rip a little click around here. Rip dot, a click around. Rip a rip a, a click around. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see. Hitlo uh, is ellipsising. The Na is. If all Hermes means to do is listen to Metion's report, then it is his right to do so. But once he receives the answer to his questions, what then? The fate of the world may very well hinge upon the choice he makes in that moment. And we must be there when he makes it. <laughs> Thank you for the end, Walker, uh, Elsbeth, but era. <laughs> Wait, 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 what? Uh, uh, This is why peer review and board certification are important. (laughs) (laughs) But yes, the the welcome to Endwalker moment. Y'all are the best. Level, uh, what level are we on? Uh, 88? 87? We made it. I'm going to click on Emmett Selk and find out. Oh, we're still in the middle of a quest, so he just started talking to me. Okay. Why, Hermes? Why could you not leave well enough alone? Will these answers assuage your pain, the, the pain you feel when a creation is returned to ether? Had you never cast your accursed question to those distant stars, you may have one day learned to be at peace upon this one. Writing is so damn good. Mm-hmm. I, have, I have a suggestion. What? Just on angle. Just on angle is all. Oh, you, you yes. Yeah, yeah, there you go. There I'm you not go. even paying attention. I can tell. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in my own zone. What does Emma have to say after this? Do you understand why Hermes would do this? His logic escapes me entirely. The Vinod changes. No, it's the same. Vinod has not changed. All right, hit flow. What you got for me, Hithlo? Caging the messenger. Hermes right. has headed to... You got this one earlier, right? Oh, shit. K- K- Katesis? I believe it was Katesis. Considering the expansive dimensions of the place, even we may have a difficult time locating his ether. All I can say is that he entered from the rooftop and likely arrived at the uppermost point in the facility. So, do we pursue him? Of course we pursue him. No matter what Hermes might be thinking, Meteon is a potential threat that needs to be brought under our control. The Convocation's duty to safeguard this star takes precedence over any personal stake in the matter. Bana? Val? Tuna? Val? It is clear we stand on a precipice, but we have yet to determine beyond a shadow of a doubt that Meteon's is the hand which tips us over the edge. Nevertheless, if we are to learn the truth of the final days, we must give chase. And even if neither Hermes nor Meteon is ultimately responsible, we cannot leave them to suffer this torment alone. Agreed on all accounts. To Hyperborea we go. Ketesis. Ketesis. Oh. Oh. Did we, did we go? Traveling via cutscene. We go. Or maybe just loading. Oh, no, just, we, we, just well, you know, we still traveled. We went a distance. Is this where we're going? Did yes. we go for speed? <laughs> Every time. Every time. All the rules. Turns out we're not alone. We're not alone in our time. Of need. Time of need. I'm going to definitely put on uh, cake on the drive home. Just for the record. Vigil, thanks for the super. That was a generous one. Thank you. Uh, you guys uh, got me an Elpa stream for my 40th. You guys are so sweet. Have some money. <laughs> Thank you, Kara, for indulging my snipe request. Wait, what? Snipe request? What was your request? Oh, oh, there was a snipe request. Winky face. There were winky faces. Winky face. Okay. Uh, let's see. Vinal. Wait. Oh, shit. Oh, you, you, you yeah, went. You do you. Do okay, it because yeah. I missed it. Okay, okay. Well, it was, uh, I misliked the look of this. Okay. Followed by, judging from the crowd, something is afoot. Oh, the crowd is real. Or, you know, 
people. <laughs> Not fake? Yes, it's a double negative uh, of sorts. The crowd is intended. The, the crowd is intentional. Intentional crowd. Game intended crowd. I saw not out of the ordinary. Does anyone know what caused it? Oh yeah, so we got we got injured ancients here. Are you fake? Okay, you're a person. That's not how I should say this. Click on it now. <laughs> Who is real? <laughs> What have we here? Excuse me, has something happened inside Catesis? Mistress Vena, I'm so glad you're here. I can't wait for you to die. No one knows what, what prompt you, that guy we met who was like, when you die, oh, oh. I'm gonna be so oh, happy. That guy. I can't yes. wait for it's you to their die. It's culture. It's it's gonna best day of my life. Honestly, best day of my life. It's their culture. No one knows what prompted it, but the alarm was sounded and Catesis put into a state of alert. Procedure dictates that we evacuate immediately and we have yet to investigate further. This is Hermes doing, obviously. And what does this state of alert entail exactly? A field of dampening magic is draped over the entire facility, usually in response to escaped entities and the like. You almost said entities, didn't you? Okay, that's the Star Wars guy. Wedge and titties. Titi's colors and observers are unaffected, but everything and everyone else is weakened to a fraction of their usual capacities. Then consider us forewarned. We do, however, have urgent business with the Chief Hermes and must enter the premises regardless. Oh, excuse me. That said, if Hermes is willing to enact such measures, I wonder what other obstacles he has seen fit to drop in our path. This smells of a dungeon. With that enfeebling spell in place, we're not like to be at our fighting best. And I was hardly an effective combatant to begin with. I'll offer, I've little to offer beyond my ethereal vision. Then you will put that talent of yours to good use. You were fairly skilled at spotting weaknesses, if I recall. Fairly skilled? Now you've gone and raised everyone's expectations. You all need only make the most of your strengths, and I will fill in the gaps as required. <laughs> all around her. <laughs> I was once Asim, after all. It was my job to rise to the occasion. Be that as defender, aggressor, or healer. Almost as if I'm explaining my role within a you know, duty support. I feel better about my lack of prowess already. And you, Emmett Selk can impress us with your arcane majesty. You lob potent spells as easily as breathing, but can also channel that power in a protective manner if you choose so, yes? Eh? How would he go, eh? Eh? Well, yes, should the situation call for it. That's right, we have got a canonical yep. A. I yep. forgot about the A. Excellent. That should cover us from all fronts. I let you down, chat. I'm so sorry. Number one Emmett fan is up for grabs. Your tale led us here, Valentuna, so tis only right you lead us now. No matter what lies ahead, we will win. Well, we will win through to Hermes and Meteon. And then we will face the future together. Nice. Do the thing. There it yeah. is. There it is. Well, now we need to learn how to pronounce this correctly because we're going to have to rank it on the wall. Yeah. yeah. It's a problem for another day. <laughs> <laughs> da -da -dum. But it um, 
Small talk. Bleak out the contents of Medium's report might be. May many could hear it and remain content with their life. Oh, I see. Okay. Not homies. For him, the veneer of protection has long been cracked, and it was in the distant heavens he looked for the means to repair it. I understand his anguish as a fashion. My own feudal re uh, refutal is to return in opposition to the world's established order. Yet for me, the imperfections only enhance the fragility or the fragile beauty of our star. I will fight to see it delivered from destruction. Warts and all. I said that Hermes was likely perched somewhere at the highest point of the facility, but reaching him will be no small, no mean feat. To put it simply, Catesis Hyperborea contains a multitude of vast spaces linked together at the seams, meaning the interior is far more massive than even its grand structure might otherwise suggest. One might even say it's bigger on the inside. But even a colossal facility filled to top to bottom with savage creations will not stop you. Not with Vina and Emmett Selk at your side. And I will be there too, of course, cheering you on. Well, Kyle, uh, we're swapping roles, so give me your best Emmett Selk. Ah, um, 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 um. For the moment, we... From the moment we met you, our visit has devolved into an ever-changing series of complications and irritations. In spite of this, I have gained one useful thing, an awareness of dynamis. <laughs> to think that a power with the potential to corrupt ether has largely escaped our notice. Whether or not I believe your tale, the facts underpinning your narrative will be the source of much debate. So understand that I act not for the sake of you and your fanatical quest. My Fant duty fantastical. Or fantastical quest. My duty demands that I apprehend Medion. And if that now Hermes and if that now means Hermes as well, then so be it. <laughs> Alberto, thank you for the fifty gifted memberships. That there is a lot of memberships. If you were the recipient of one, make sure you shoot Alberto a thank you along the way. Do we get lines? And enjoy our uh, our you latest uh, bonus content. Exciting. You can see Kyle's moves and I've got a bonus my video of my own coming out tomorrow. 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 Yeah, tomorrow's Friday. What are you doing? They have blinds. Let's get this over with. Like a with. fighting game? Yeah. <gasps> Let's get Let's this, get over, this with. over with. I can scarcely contain my excitement. Come, let us be off. Come, let us be Come, let us be off. <sighs> Let's Come. get this Let over us be with. Off. All right. Let me promote you. Oh, I think I already did. I've already promoted you. Everyone, why is the other one yelling "come"? Well, because when you click on Vinash, she says "come." Let this get over with. Ah, come, come. And if you click her a lot, she might say it a lot. And <laughs> chat, you are children. That. We're all children, Anna. <laughs> That's how this works. That's how this works. Children. It's a cool, you know, it's a nice excuse, you know, shield is up so the ancients can be lowered in power so they can quest with you because you're, you know, not as powerful as a ancient one once was, you know, it's, it's a cute <laughs> excuse. I wasn't even thinking about the technical ramifications yeah. of what we're about to embark yeah. on. Yeah. Oh, it's just, it's just delightful. It's just damn delightful. All right, uh, what's going on here? Well, we need two party members. We do need two party members. I'm tanking your healing. Uh, I don't know how to do this. Uh, there is no good way. There's no good way. Um, People are attempting to summon a Jesse. Oh, is Jesse here? Apparently, there's a little Jesse. I haven't seen him in chat for a while. Yeah. Perhaps. Has, has, has a little Jesse been... Has a little, has a little Jesse been, been found? Okay. So I have, I have hidden myself. Uh, a group has already formed. And so... You know what? No, no. We found a... Sorry. Sorry, everybody. There's so many people over here. We found we we found a pretty adorable way to do this when we were out doing okay. Baja. Okay. And so I'm going to do that again. All right. I'm going to just line up 
where I can see as many of you as possible. And boy, I'm going to just assume if you're here, you're, you're interested. You're interested in running with us. And uh, I'm just going to uh, wiggle my mouse around, cover my eyes, and click. We'll do it twice. Perfect. And who... <laughs> <laughs> the crowd! The crowd. Ah. Kyle? Hmm? Can you confirm that I'm waggling? You are waggling. You're I'm waggling, waggling quite ferociously. Can you make sure I'm at least over the group? You are over the group. Go for it. Did I get somebody? Um, well, hang on. There's a whale. Okay, perfect. Go for it. You did get somebody. Nice job. Okay, who'd I get? Asriel Angle. Inviting you. All right, one more time. One more time. Nope. Kaisoku Clan Clan. The third seat. Fourth. Hmm? Fourth. What? That would be the fourth seat. Oh, sorry. No, I was reading uh, Emmett Silk's uh, classification. His job is the third seat. You're, you're an Emmett Silk. Mm -hmm. As always, uh, we invite you to start side groups, run along with us. Mm -hmm. There's just not enough spaces. There's just not enough spaces. No, no. And uh, no spaces. Uh, for those saying such things as how could you possibly, it's a, it's, it's a co-op channel. What? There will be a future time where we about? will run this, and perhaps it'll even be in a video somewhere. What are you talking about? Oh, because you can do the duty support with three main characters, as a lot of people are saying, how could you? But this is, this is it's a co-op channel. We've been doing this for two years. Yeah. We're going to keep doing this. Yeah. For many years to come. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a co-op channel. And then we'll go do it again. We'll do it eventually. The way we like it. Maybe. Actually, I, this is the one duty support I care about. Yeah. All the ones you've sent no, me, I'm and, like, and I, eh. yeah, and I'd be curious <laughs> to know, and like, we can do that in a future video, you know, you do yours, I'll do mine, we'll come together, we'll talk about it. We'll both record, you record your version, I'll record mine, we, you know, we have a dialogue, like we do in videos that we make weekly. Watch <laughs> our videos. <laughs> We've noticed a lot of you aren't watching our videos. <laughs> and we're taking it personal. <laughs> Again, I've been reading a lot of Emmett lines fine. tonight. What are you? What? Were you trying to eat your microphone? No, I'm fine. I'm fine. Fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I know you do, Final Family. I was talking to everyone except Final Family. All right. So I said it's a mid eye level, sir. Perfect. And I'm going to M. Walker Dungeons and I'm going to Cadesis Cyperborea. And. Joining. Starting record. Commence. Commencing. Adventure. Hyboria. Wow, this is this is colorful. Look at the biome. Yeah, well, you know, it's bigger guess, on the inside. Uh, it's like the hyperbolic time chamber. Oh, well, I guess it's Hyperborea. Man, the world unsundered. Oh my word. Are we doing a wing thing? Is that what's going on? Oh, I don't think I... I didn't update down my portrait. I don't think I did it. Uh-oh. Yeah. I think I'm going to have shameful portrait is energy. My, is mine okay? Oh, oh thank God. Nice job. You're the only one. I'm the only well one? Well done. Look at what? that. By the way, did you, you see I up. finally updated my Dark Knight portrait? Oh, oh yeah. It's nice. I like the heart you put in there. Look at it again. Look at it. Oh, the heart's been there forever, sir. Look at it again. Show everybody. Mm-hmm. It's no longer awkward yearbook photo. Mm, that's very nice. Very nice. Well done. I have defeated you. That's what that pose is. Yes. Thank you yes. for joining our party. You look fabulous and theming. Kyle, RP walk with me. With pleasure. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. the containers. Please, turn back. Or I might be forced to... To engage the collect call of the world? <laughs> to fight us. He's going to fight us. Well, yeah, but, you know, that that is the danger. What is they... the looming thing above us, and are we going to go to it? Uh, 
kind of looks I see a spiral staircase up in the oh, on the pillars there. So yeah, I think we're gonna ascend that. All right, if this isn't a full Skyrim read, I request you read it to me. Have you ever wondered whether your creation is a beneficial existence to the star? Wonder no more, for at Catesis Hyperborea, our mission is to determine the answer. Got a sales pitch it. From temperate plains to tropical jungles, from smoldering volcanoes to frozen fields, we put creations to the proof in a wide range of meticulously recreated environments. Will your creation be able to survive in the wider world, or will it threaten the survival of other species? The answers to such questions and more, our highly trained staff will uncover. Your vacation starts now. I, I was thinking more like, welcome to Epcot World Center. Because everything is Epcot to me. Fair. Oh, I, I yeah, let's, let's get our let's get our new buttons on. I'm gonna be reaching for nine until I don't like it. <sighs> oh no, I'm synced to lower level. Never mind. I don't get to reach for nine. How's the hits? Look, they look decent sized. I've been mitting. So, you know, it's, and, and they're actually getting through my Blackest Night. So okay. I, I, they're, they're substantial. Okay. This isn't my, uh, my Hero's Gauntlet runs that I've been doing lately. <laughs> <laughs> Playing dress up. Yep. I've almost got the full um, set for my Scholar. Nice. I haven't gotten any of the pieces for my Dark Knight, though, which is bumming me out because that set is very Ooh. attractive. Are you uh are you taunted? Uh yes. Okay. There's just a lot of things that I may not have hit them all. Yeah, no, I think I think it was just a little early hit. Am I taunted? Oh, you know, of enmity. Gritted. Gritted, yes, that that is the type of thing you're into. Moving on. I like the blinding of the snow. By the way, from here on out, I will be pointing them the direction we're going because I always miss out on cool things for the clip. Fair. I know it's not what, uh, so so just uh, save, save your <laughs> tank, please point north <laughs> messages for later. Oh, ooh, oh, you, yeah, that, they, they were linked. Surprised, are you? Well, you know, kind of span the distance there. But they're going the distance. You can't keep saying Yeah, distance, I know. I'm Kyle. sorry. I'm sorry. You just can't do it. I've just got distance on the mind tonight. Distance yourself from that word. There's so many synonyms. I look awesome healing in this white robe. You do. Dude, uh, what I was started to say in that one cutscene, and I was like, oh, I'm going to shut up now, um, was that when I cut us together, the black and white robes are going to look so uh, fucking yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah, it is. Left. Oh, cool. Oh, yeah. We get to really explore the biome. Oh, look at that sun shaft. Yeah. And look, we even have some little, you know, critters out in the distance there. Uninteractable. Ooh. Ooh, what is environmental? Oh, sure. Oh, aren't you cute? Yeah, a little update. We've seen you before, but you're still cute. You can attack me. They have snowmen on their heads. <laughs> Just little snowmen <laughs> on their heads. Even better, someone designed it that way. Not a, not a you know, video game designer and lore. Who, who's the uh, the snowman uh, expert? Because, you know, they, they, they spend a lot of time at Elpis talking about their specialties. Yes. So which one is the... Uh... Specializing in snowmen and snowman-like creatures. Are you doing a Hank Hill bit? No, no it's just... Being propane like, uh, and propane accessories. I was just riding the, the snowman energy. Snowman and snowman features. We don't talk about him. He's the 15th seat, but yeah, he likes well, snowmen. Well, uh, do they have carrots for the nose? Because uh, if they have carrots for the nose, then I'm going to go with Vana because eventually she's going to create the Loperits, and they're really in the carrots. Okay. That's... 
that, that's through line. Vinod designed these. It's confirmed. See, that's why we had to do the support duty to hear all the deep the, carrot the, lore. The deep snow snowman lore. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at this guy. What look guy? At, look at you. What guy? Oh, yeah. this boss. This the uh, I don't like these pits. There's gonna be yeah, a, a run like, into something. That looks like a bad time. Yeah. Lissa. All right. Is 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 Lissa little bear in the audience tonight? <laughs> Is this what you're named after? They knew the whole time. That's a cool model. I like it. You ready? I'm ready. I draw. Frozen sphere. Oh, that makes sense. You're about to get busted. Yeah, I am. Busting makes me feel good. Or at least pops my blackest night. <laughs> that makes you feel good. It does. It is a... It, oh, it uh, it's very satisfying. See? So something's happening. Dun, 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 oh, dun, they dun, went dun, invisible. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, oh, the, the footprints. Oh, so shite. they're in. Do we need to get in that one that or they went to? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, that's the one they went to. Cute. Oh, that's very cool. cute. So, Medion isn't special with the whole going invisible bit. That is true. Yeah, really, really. Got rid of that special real fast. Okay, but um, has the convocation judged if what we're fighting has souls? How how sad should I feel about killing these things? That is a good question. Okay. Skull Dasher. Femur Prancer? Demon for money. Ah, uh, here we go. Oh, uh, it's uh, it's all over the place. I go. Oh, we have to decide where it ended. I guess it ended here. This is where it ends. I think this is it. Cute. Hold your hand. This freaking motif just goes so hard. It's so instantly yeah. hummable. It's such an earworm. Uh. Oh, I guess same shit uh, as guess last I time. I guess I didn't know that. Oh, but we up. have a stack at the we same. Stack? So that's gonna be a bit of a bummer. It's fine. Oh, I like that read. Is the boss a prototype of Biako? Ooh. I, yeah, I guess it doesn't they... have a sick baseline while I fight him, so. <laughs> yeah, uh, gonna... I mean. Does it end here again? I think it's a different one than. Maybe it's the same one. I think it's the same one. They're just one. trying to mess with you, get in your heads. Coffers. Well, let's see. <laughs> oh, it looks like it has a little mask in the picture. Oh, there we go. It does have a little. Look, it's a little. It's a little more Team Wizard hat. <laughs> oh, that is cool. Oh, and the visor's adjustable. I'm oh, gonna it's actually an, an upgrade. I'm freaking green now. I will put that on. I'm gonna farm for that. Uh, that's fantastic. There, there we go. Wait, hang on. Lissa Little Bear Super Lissa, named for the ancient Greek spirit of rabies and rabid anger. I guess you are in the house tonight, Lissa. <laughs> oh, are you wearing it right now? Well, it is an upgrade. Can you die white? No, I, I, can I not? Is it not diable? I don't see die in this option. Oh, usually it's there, but it's just grayed out. Yeah. There's just nothing? Did you click on Yeah, no, die. it's not a diable hat. Oh, oh, shame. oh, I guess I just... No, that's... Yeah. No, that's, 
Shame. Yeah. Shame. Shame. But it's an upgrade, Shame. you know. You gotta ride it. Shame. Shame. Oh, Rogue Mage Super that the Catesis armor dropped in Hyperborea uses the same models as the Shadowless set from Heroes Gauntlet, just with slightly different paint job. The weapon drops are wholly unique, though. Oh, cool. Oh, sweet. Well, I, I want that set. Oh, look at the snake men. Look at these. Look at these. Look at these weird little dudes. Go, snake man. Beast man. Beast man. Should check what I'm doing to you. I'd appreciate it. Uh, reducing damage taken by 10%, restore HP at the end of the effect. All right. Ooh, what's this? I like everything okay. I'm seeing. Yeah, we got some cages. An aviary? Yeah. Uh, Hermes, did you make all of these and you just want to show them off? <laughs> no, don't fight through my awesome creations and observe each one of them. I mean, he'd probably be sad we're killing them, actually. So That's a good point. Yeah. If you were Hermes and with your DM attitude, you'd be like, no, don't fight my awesome no, how monsters. how could you? How could you do this? Uh, this hurts. Yeah, this is hurting you. I apologize. Oh, I'm... Wow. Yeah. I thought you had me. I and thought so too, but, um... I underestimated. Thank you for the res. I was just doing the old don't use any casts on you kind of thing. But it went horribly awry. Hey, I could have, uh, I could have involved. I just, I was like, he's got me. It's fine. Narrator. It wasn't fine. Yeah. Serious mode unlocked. Got pants. Pants. I need the friggin' pants. These pants are good for aiming. All right, here we go. This is busy. <laughs> There's so many baddies. <laughs> Kyle's getting in so much the it feels like I'm playing in a simulator right now. <laughs> <laughs> As things around me rock and roll. We have a journal, sir. Journal. We have a journal. According to Mistress Lissa, her creation is based on a concept for a bipedal wolf, and indeed, it is impressively manlike in its gait. It is also highly intelligent, as is evidenced by its ability to employ tools, while the gleam in its eyes gives the impression that it comprehends our words. If this proves to be the case, it would be a shame that its throat isn't designed for speech. I must make mention of this in the next report. The fudge? Yeah, well, they want to talk to it. But wait, so there's someone named Lissa that designed a wolf, but we fought a cat thing called Lissa? Well, you get to name it if you create it, right? Yeah, but that, wasn't that a tiger monster? Yeah. Fighting? Not a wolf. Yeah, bipedal wolf. Huh. It's weird. So the thing we thought was supposed to be a wolf, it looked like a tiger to me. It did. I, I thought the same thing. But its fur loincloth was very distracting. <laughs> it was undulating. Your undulating loincloth is very distracting. Y'all can't see it. It's out of frame. But yeah. Man. Thank goodness. It's so distracting. You'd be so distracted. Oh, 
Ooh, nice little fireball there. Look Pain. Absurd amount of shielding. Hey, we did it. Action. Oh, 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 yeah. Yeah. Oh, we're pretty high up. Dude, I'm so high right now. That's all I can think of. I'm sorry. Where do you think they got all these concepts? I'm a... <laughs> I call this one Blueberry Express. <laughs> and once one person had a Blueberry Express, they all started making their own blueberries. And there were blueberry sharks and blueberry birds and all sorts of <laughs> Blueberry train wrecks and all of them just making blueberries far as the eye could see. Help me. Please send help. Look at this guy. Look at this handsome devil. Which, which, which guy do I look at? This guy. There's three of them. The one with three heads? Yeah, pick, an eye, pick a face. Pick an pick, eye. Pick a face. Oh, you know what they say about dudes with three heads? They buy a lot of no, hats. Man, a lot of hats. Yeah, yeah. Concept review. Cute. Ooh, getting right into it. All right. Oh, oh I want to hit my button time. There we go. Oh, middle head is like very inflated. Yeah, <laughs> it, it's a, a cobra. Appears and, you know, to it's, it's try a little, and find a target. It's a little lumpy, but it is cobra. Yep, it picks a direction or and or target and locks in. It looks like. Okay. Big cone. Big cone attack. It's inhaling again. All right, we got. Oh, I did two. two of them yeah. Time. This will be cute to see what this means. I'm gonna stay on the side with the not blowing. Yeah, I'm head. assuming it goes half and then it'll be. Oh, oh, it's in sequence. Yeah, cute. Ah. So it could potentially do all three, and I yeah. bet you gonna do all three. And we have fireballs now. Inhaling. Will it be all three, Kyle? Will it be all three? Oh, well, what are the fireballs gonna do? Oh, oh, oh it's two. There we go. Oh, oh, it got me. Oh, you fudger. Yeah, oh, wow. I, guess, I guess the sides would make sense that they're important. Yeah, I should, probably should have thought that one through. Forge a hand. We got balls. Yep, it's doing the balls again. All right, we got, and we got oh, side, you're moving it. side heads again. Oh, well, I mean, a little bit. I didn't want to get hit by the balls. Yeah. Oh dear. Oh my goodness. We should be good if this is the direction. Oh wait. Oh, he goes back to middle. Okay. Got balls again. Yeah, we do get time to react to balls though, so it's not too bad. Yeah, seems right. Should be safe over here. Yep. We are in agreement. It's a cute mechanic. I like it. What is intimidate? I don't think we're gonna find out what intimidation is. Oh, well, he exploded. Yeah. Double checking my recording. We are good. Can I go up we here? Are or is good? this an invisible wall? That's nah, invisible. People are saying you're building LB bar like a bro. Sweet. Yeah. Necklace. Oh yeah, the, this old this old vampire choker. Pants. Pants. I'm gonna need those pants. Please put on pants. Please tell Kyle to put on pants. Gonna need your pants. You can, you, pan you can pants if you want to. 
Is this? But you might leave friends behind. Earring an improvement? I cannot let you take me to you. Not yet. I'm getting geared up. Ooh, foggy. I'm thinking about that Amarat dungeon where the Amoratine becomes a bird. <laughs> yeah? Why, why are you thinking about that? Oh, because we met an Amoratine who really likes birds. <laughs> oh, interesting. Also, th like, coming up on this landing reminds me of coming up to the top of that. Yeah, maybe. That That'd landing. be interesting. I still am curious if that statue at the end has meaning, so maybe we'll see it around here. Whoa. Also, thank you all for Ooh. wearing uh, wearing the, the ancient robes. Yeah. It's nice and thematic. Even though Kyle's going to judge you for wearing a red... Never mind, you are a red mage. Never mind, yep, you... Ky exactly. Kyle approved. Well, th they're the reaper, but a red mage is here. It's Kyle fine. Approved. It's fine. It's fine. And, and they got red in their hair. So really, you know, who am I to complain? Uh, Xavier, thank you for the super chat. Kyle and Garrett are Hithlo and Emmett confirmed, and now I can't unsee or unhear Hithlo gushing about the great blueberry concept flood. <laughs> Way to go, Kyle. <laughs> this pulls through you, buddy. <laughs> thank you. Pull away. So it's a single target, 10% uh, reduced, and then you get hit, healed on the back end. That's pretty cool. It's only button bloat if you don't like the class. <laughs> That's a good way to put it. Ew, more buttons. How am I going to manage? And then it's on your favorite job, and you're like, so sweet. What's this do? Oh, this I will is... say, if I get one more button as Dark Knight, it will be too many. Hmm. Drawing the line for no, I like legitimately. I'm out of buttons. The way I like to buy. Oh, things. oh, you're just I, out of yeah. I'm out of binds. I'm gonna need to get a grenade mouse again, and I don't like those kind of mice. Personal preference. Oh, this is cool. Let me catch up. Oh, I'm way ahead of you. Yeah. Now you're good. I am ascending. Dude, dude, look at the glow. Yeah. You're like glowing as like you go through the freaking launching. atmosphere. Oh, geez, yeah. That was cute. All right, now this reminds me of Azasla. Well, yeah. This is Azasla yeah, as hell. Little... And little coils as well, too. It's just got that containment unit kind of vibe. Big slot going energy. On up here. Oh, my God. I'm sorry, Garrett. You still get one more ability. God damn it. All right. Better be cool. Better be worth the carpal tunnel I will get reaching for whatever new button I bind. surprise me you're afraid of pink birds no nah, not really just you know they kind of came down i mean i do have some some volish fears of birds i like birds i find them fascinating we've talked about this how yeah. I, I i wish i I wish I liked birds as pets, but they, I just gonna, I just kind of get sad. It's a more. lifestyle. Like I want you, eh, I want you to fly. Also, you're messy. I had yeah. cockatiels growing up. They're a lot of work. These birds want to freaking murder me. Yeah, they're hitting hard. Down you go. Oh, wait. Flying life forms. An introduction. I wonder who this is written mm, by. Hmm. The success crea successful creation of migratory birds which travel between continents with the seasons 
came as a breath of fresh air to the long, stagnant realm of flying life forms. In the end, it was a relatively simple thing to grant creatures the ability to navigate by celestial bodies, but this method lacked the precision needed to guide them to the same location each time as would be vital to their survival. The breakthrough came in the form of magnetic fields, the use of which was discovered by the incumbent Van Daniel during his tenure as chief overseer of Elpis, a truly inspired idea that has brought lasting benefits to the star. Wait, so the, per, the outgoing Van Daniel is also yeah, a yeah, bird they're, nerd? They're, they're, they're just into so it. Just all, just yeah. all Van Daniels are in, in the birds. Boom. Oh, oh, here oh, he is. Here, here he is. That mask is cool. So, it comes to this. I have no wish to fight, but this time, I cannot yield. Though the world may think me a mad, desperate fool, I will hold fast to my conviction. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. Okay. All right. The way everybody's talking about how Call of Duty support is for this, mm -hmm. if it is anything less than the other three ancients transform into their fight forms, there's no way that I will be disappointed. That, you, you're setting that would up be for, the that would be thing. really cool. That would give that would live yeah, up to the it'd cries. be badass. But like like a little little tiny little tiny Hades just kind of wheeling out there. That's what they should do. Nah. <laughs> that would be It'd so be cool. cool. But they are suppressed via shield, so you could say that they can't because of the thingy he activated. I've never wanted to boo you more in my life. No, I'm sorry. Boo. No, there, boo. There you, there's the justification. Boo. Yeah. Boo. Yeah. I hate your justification. Yeah. I hate your justification. It's getting in the way of the coolest thing they could do. The coolest thing they could do. The coolest. You know I'm right. They hated him because he told the truth. You are prepared to pull, sir. Let's do it. I will have the time and tranquility I require. Oh my god, oh, I gather to me. Sorry, I'm trying to take this in, but it just hit me. Hmm. I thought we weren't gonna get to fight Fan Daniel. Oh. <laughs> this this game is clever. Rehash fighting Fan Daniel again. No, we didn't fight. I mean, we technically didn't really fight. Okay. Uh, well, we kind of know this, this one. This looks like portals. This is. Whoa! What uh, the butt? It, it's, it's windy. Oh, jeez. Let me get you. Yeah, yeah. That's that's on me. Take care of yourself for a moment. I've got people I'm resin. Yes, sir. M m middle? Middle. Is middle best. right? Oh, shoot. What's with the rocks? Oh, we're getting more. Oh, is it another rock? Uh, uh, okay, I like it here. Can we just... This is where I'm going to decide is good. Oh, and then they, it's going to blow up. Oh, oh wow. Uh, wow. I didn't okay, see the okay, other wall. Okay. It's okay. No one look at my vault and stacks. They're perfect. I'm, I'm perfect. We've stabilized. No, one, they're so tiny on my screen. No one will possibly be able to read that. As number. as the as the the. Whoa. Okay, it's with I, us. I one shot it, but ah. <laughs> oh. And then like do it again. Okay, we've recovered mostly. This hurts. I'm in pain. Yep. Hang on. I'm also making life harder on you because of my you know, stacks of shame. Skybox looks fantastic. It's like you're seeing the curvature of the world. Oh, sure. Oh, yeah, like just deep. Oh, sure. Uh, yeah, I didn't really put that together. The edge of space, which would make sense. Just those? Nope. So can you like stand in between? Yeah, them? right? And they're going to go oh, in but order? that one's kind of turnt. I'm just going to do that. Oh, God, this is going to yeah, run that we, fast? We had to remember, remember the order. Right? Those were next. Yeah. Okay. No, I can't run that fast. That's okay. We'll just we'll just stay here with our hit that we got okay. earlier. I'm just I'm trying to figure out how how to do it right though. That's what I'm. That's why I'm narrating. Woo! 
They got that kind of that echo effect. Reminds me of um, Warrior of Light a little bit. Yawing with such fervor. I feel like my guy is yelling more than he used to. Huh. I feel like Tuna is suddenly a lot more angry. Chat says it's the bun boy. Ah. Which, by the way, not the red mage. That's our reaper. <laughs> so not approved. Uh, but they've red in their hair, so that's why I was saying oh, earlier, oh, like, oh. yeah, I, th I think we're going to let it slide. No, oh, Kyle, I demand you to be immovable in your judgment. Uh, rock time, right? Yes. Oh, we need to remember the rocks. Oh, what? Oh, oh, you go. Oh, I see what you did there. How do you not? Well, I dodged oh. it all, but you guys hid behind one rock and moved a lot less than me. It's not a clean clear, but I'm feeling like we got it. Yeah. We figured it out. I mean, you know, he might have surprises towards the end here, which we Even we'll give you. Transformed. Screams of ether. Surge is one. Oh, he seems to be looping. Just take him down. Yeah. yeah no time for mechanics. Get him out of here. No. My power. And he's just an emo boy again. Yeah, I would be bummed. Yeah. Oh, but determined oh, on the back end. Oh, yeah. He gave the, uh... Yeah. This is the, uh, the Anakin eyes. Just stop what? No, Final Days. Hair, Sorry, what? Just stop Final Days. <laughs> Just say no to aliens. Pose for a photo, Kyle. Pose for a photo. Oh, sorry. Sorry, sorry. I was curious. Ooh, it's an astrologian arm. <laughs> what a post down. Excellent. You have all the energy of someone who just bought a new hat and was so excited to wear it you didn't care if it went with what you're what you're currently wearing. Fair, but let's see my new armament, perhaps. Oh, yes. oh are we rolling? Are we, what is this? Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, let me I mean I'm assuming by the only astrologian in the room let me roll I'm about to receive that. it, but that might be a bold assumption of mine. Bold assumption. What does it look like, man? Show it off. I, 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 uh, we need to complete the rolling. Did I not roll? The rolling is not I done. Roll. roll! I demand you. Oh, what is everyone saying over here? There we go. Sweet. A Equip Mary Chasey Lassa. I've been uh, cooking, so I probably have like a bunch of... Well, you're always cooking. Well, you know what I mean. I have. I probably have too many pans in my inventory. Here, which, where, there we go. There we go. We're going to get a skillet out of here. Oh, look at that. It's got flowers on it. <laughs> Mel Super, what are these bone stacks for ants? <laughs> <laughs> Hermes model is Ramo with the silly vine beard oh my god okay that makes sense yeah you oh have a, a flying dude model it works able, i will not be able to unsee that i will not be able to see that or unsee that oh my goodness all right 
Where are we heading? You ready? Heading to the exit. Did you get your, did you get your loot? Yep, yep. Is that it? Is that yep. it right there? Hold yeah, on, it's got, look, look it's got it. flowers on it. Oh. Yeah. Oh, that's cute. For science. For science. Are the cards unique? Uh, no, no. The cards are always, but All they always are, the same. they are each of the cards, so that's cute. They actually put the little images in Jeez, there. That, you that is a lot of detail. Yeah. All right. Um, I'm going to assume we should probably sink our exit. Sounds good. Oh, Medion's down at the end there. Just oh, yeah, yeah. She was in the little cutscene. Standing there. Ugh. All right. Uh, let me start recording. All right. You ready to sync up? I'm ready. Three, two, one, go. You are ahead of me, sir. How dare you? I think we'll still need to sync the, the lines. We'll have a second chance. It's over, Hermes. That's In the name of the Convocation, I hereby take Meteon into custody. And setting aside the matter of your nomination, you will come with us too. We require your knowledge to assess and resolve the situation. <sighs> Meteon, I am so sorry for that I could have listened to your report in full, reflected upon its meaning, and conveyed it to others, that they might reconsider their chosen course. But I have failed, and that wish will never be realized. However, ere our fates become the province of others, I bid you tell me just one thing. Was there happiness in those distant stars? Was there a reason for living? We conducted our search as per your instructions. We scoured historical records, communed with the spirits of the deceased. Heard the final testaments of the dying. Welcomed their shadowed hearts into our own. One race had striven to create a world bereft of animosity. No. They renounced relationships to avoid interpersonal strife. And in so doing, brought about societal collapse. One race had renounced war and devoted itself to the enrichment of its people. They were conquered. Though they destroyed the enemy in reprisal, they could not regain their former glory. One race had concluded that finite time was the root of all woes. Aspiring to shatter its shackles, they went in search of infinity. They discovered nothing is infinite, and that neither time or death can be cheated. Disillusioned, they gave up on the future, and themselves. One race had discarded all things that gave rise to sorrow, hoping to have only joy. They found joy lost its savor in the absence of sorrow and lost their will to live. The worlds apart, these peoples shared a belief. The belief that they had tried their best. That they had tried to fulfill their potential with every step and success. In the course of which, they learned the truth. Yo. That they would never be free of fear and sorrow, anger and despair. 
of loneliness, so long as they yet lived. Even now, their souls cry out for oblivion. And to this song of anguish, I lend my voice. We lend our voice. Oh, beloved mankind, shimmering jewels of beautiful Atheris, rejoice, for we will free you from the cruel yoke of existence. There is no need to struggle in vain, for in nihility awaits salvation. You will know peace and serenity, and it will be beautiful we will make our nest at the edge of the universe and there in the dark of dead worlds hoard sorrow and suffering there we will sing our chorus ever louder and ever clearer that our song may reach even this ether shrouded star Such is the answer we have found in the stars. Such is the gift we now offer to the fairies. Who are you to decide our fate? To decree we live or die? Let her have it, Emmett. Lost your mind? What? You heard oh, what shit. she said. Dude. She means to destroy us all, yet you'd still take her side? In the name of the star, we have discarded those creations that we deemed flawed. Oh, okay. All right. I get it. Nice. If we ourselves are flawed. Hell yeah. Does not stand to reason. That we too should be discarded. Nice. That is sophistry, there and you is. know it. Complete loss of hope. Perhaps it is. Perhaps I am wrong. But who is to say that you are right? Let us settle this with a determination. In my authority, as Chief Overseer of Elpis, I will make a judgment on man's fitness to exist. If he can learn to value all life and retain his will to live, even should his end be justified, he will surely find a way to avert his demise. If not, he will perish from the start. <laughs> As with all determinations, yeah. provisions must be made to ensure fairness. Kairos, awaken! What? Memory reconfiguration system Kairos activated. Awaiting instruction. Command. Universal oh, memory this alteration. Is the thing. Target area. Catesis Hyperborea. Starting point. Arrival of Emmett Selk of the convocation at Propylon. Uh, and okay. the present. Raise the memories of all events. And replace with a vague recollection of the following. I was here. Preparing to demonstrate the functionality of Kairos to Emmet Selk and Hithidaeus. Meteon's shared consciousness became unstable. She and her sisters could not sustain their existence. 
and all dissipated the burst. The resultant shockwave accidentally triggered Kairos, which erased several days of memories from all present. Good shot. Execute. Yeah. Command acknowledged. Time travel, that's why they don't remember. Mm -hmm. yep. Three processes yep. remain that's... to execution. I love it when time travel doesn't suck! <laughs> I love it when time travel doesn't suck! Bravo. Yeah. I dare say one would be hard pressed to make it fairer. Everything that you told us, everything that has happened, the fact we've even met, it will all be gone. Go, Mitsu. To the edge of the universe. Where if not any of them say remember us, I'm going to lose my shit. <laughs> Hermes! Won't you come with me? If you were to shed your flesh, I should be able to carry you. <laughs> I will remain. As a man, I will oppose the oblivion you bring. Silly fool. Had you said yes, I would have granted you the gentlest end. God, that's awesome. That's so... That's so upped up. I love it. This ends here! Oh. Yeah! Fly, Meteor! That is far enough, Hermes! Argos, to me! First process complete. Two remaining to execution of memory reconfiguration. As if we needed more pressure. No matter what, you cannot forget what happened today. For it is the key to saving your future. Your world. Sounds like Zap is out of here. Right. This fight is our fight. What comes after but I is our see problem fight. to contend with. Not yours. No. Your own struggle awaits. And no one else can take your place. You must flee this place with your memories intact. And I will see that you do. Now then. If bro, let's where go! Is it? There you are, my little confluence. Well, he has to remember something from my old friend, my new old friend, right? Let's see if this is recognized. Could be, could be. Or maybe he manages to hold on to a little of his memory. They found a way to make a flying dog cool. <laughs> I can't fucking believe it. Almost! Very well, then. You like may lose us this day, but not forever. Meteon's gotten away. Second process complete. One remaining to execution. No. No time for brooding. Listen well. Beyond lies a spatial confluence that connects the interior sections of this building. I will destroy the confluence and force open a way outside. When I do, you must jump through. I cannot tell you how sorry I am. 
neither. Can I let you escape? No, that, that doesn't seem good. No. Too brave by half. <laughs> Duh. Exemplary work, as always, Emmett Selk. What? But how? I thought the confluence was... Over... Over there? Yes. We were rather hoping we would. It was never anywhere but where it is now. The instant those two began making their way towards nothing, t'was clear the plan was a diversion. I'm quite incapable of destroying a confluence, I must confess. A gambit brazen beyond words. Though we've grown accustomed to reckless improvision due to the antics of an incorrigible associate. <laughs> Though, in the case of certain present company, incorrigible is an understatement. Honestly, I'm beginning to suspect it's a requirement for every Azen. <laughs> <laughs> Good thing we picked up a spare There's doggy no earlier. Quickly! Even now, I do not believe your tale. I would not suffer us to walk such a wretched path. Still, if it must be said, do not squander it. The legacy I leave you. <laughs> Final process complete. Executing universal memory alteration. Go, Argos! Also means Vana keeps her memories. Right. That's cool. I'm fine. Just a little tired. All right. Oh, now we get. Yeah, that. now, now, <laughs> after all, all that. Uh, uh, three, two, one, go. Oh, that was a lot. Can it be true? Are we the only ones left who see beauty in the world? In life? Are the stars above no more than husks of fallen civilizations? And yet... I feel her. Though she is unimaginably distant, I feel Meteon's presence, and the place where to we must go. A quest. Yeah, where are we going now? Ere she made good her escape, I placed an enchantment upon her, one which allows us to follow her trail. She has already left the outermost bounds of Atheris, and continues on her way. Given the vastness of the universe, it will still be no easy feat to track her down. 
But thanks to Emmet Selk and his Gladeus, all is not lost. We remember. So long as we remember, our fates remain ours to shape. Huh. I'm a little curious, but obviously I think we know because that's well, well yeah, that's history. But I want to hear it. I want to hear it. <laughs> okay. I'm going with that first. All right. Three, two, one, go. I've never cared more about the others. <laughs> I'd like to know point. too. Let us ascertain the situation at Cotesis Hyperborea, where they should still be. reintroduce ourselves to them given the likely state of their memories however it would be imprudent for us to approach them directly in which case I am sorry my friend I've asked much of you this day but may I trouble you one last time <laughs> Go, doggo. Argos will investigate in our stead. We will share in his consciousness and see and hear as if we were with him. Now, close your eyes and open your mind. you are unharmed. Unharmed? There is a gaping <laughs> hole in my memories. I can scarcely remember arriving here in Elvis. Perfectly <laughs> written. Forgive me. Flawless. I was preparing to demonstrate the functionality of Kairos to our guests. But Meteon, her shared consciousness became unstable and she she so that's what prompted the state of alert and when you went to investigate you were caught in Kairos's accidental operation so it would seem it's all a blur to me such an unfortunate accident Oh, and what of Vena and your other companion? Oh, boy. You went inside together, as mm. I recall. We did? If Vena was with us, I have no recollection of it. But that there is her familiar, is it not? The fellow seems happy enough, so I think it's safe to assume his mistress is well. I haven't the slightest notion who this other companion might be, however. Hmm. Ah, well, that individual struck me as a bit different, for want of a better word. Perhaps it wasn't actually a person, but some manner of creation. Excuse you. Curious. I must ask Venar about it when next we meet. Yes, yes, you do that. Now, if we may tend to Hermes, whatever this Meteon did, it seems he bore the brunt of it. Once you are fit to travel, you will return with us to Amarot. We need to make certain there are no other ill effects. Also, I am here on business of the Fourteen. We've already had the conversation, like as not, but since your toy wiped my memory, we'll have to have it again. Yes, of course, as you see fit. This Kairos, it manipulates memories through the emission of etheric waves, correct? 
There is a theory which holds that memories scoured by blasts of ether are restored when the soul is cleansed in the underworld. If true, then perhaps when our time comes to return to the star, we shall remember these few days we have lost. Oh. So that's why the soul of I Hifflo. doubt aught of interest occurred. Ah. Look forward to the revelation if you like, but I should prefer to reminisce on more meaningful moments. So we're gonna see Emmett again, right? <laughs> you wouldn't drop that and not if an Emmett who remembers the Yeah, yes. yeah. Post death being like, that son of a bitch. <laughs> you crazy son rest, of a If only for a while. After all, you and I Oh, we still have a long, long way to go. So the Amorot Hithlodeus would my new old friend as them, but the Moon Hithlodeus could new old friend you, because he would have visited the underworld, because he's now like a shade thing. Well, or is he? He's a memory pass. Well, no, that was that was that was the real Hithlodeus. Yeah, remember because his his soul was yeah trapped on the moon. I forget, but what if I forget we, the yeah, particulars. Yeah, would it be trapped but, before or after he But gets... the whole thing was that, oh, because remember we met him and we were assuming, and he's yeah. like, what are you talking about? I've never met you before. Yeah. 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 <laughs> With the speedy chocolate there. <laughs> no one else I shall accept. To. Uh, let me stop here. Oh, jeez. Through my brain. That's cute. Is on fire. That's cute. Hmm. My brain. My brain. Moon business. So we met real Hithlo's soul on the moon. Yeah. So yeah, that, that's why that's why he was new old friending us as we went off to Foyt's Zodiac. Yeah. Because it's still him, so his personality would still come up with the same wacky phrase. Well, if it was a memory well, or a, you know. Yeah. 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 Also, like, didn't we, we did talk to Hithlodeus, it, just that we're on voice, so maybe we mentioned it. Or whatever. whatever. Anyway. Yes. 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 So then what's the, the Emmet Shade and Seed of Sacrifice? Because I'm still kind of blurry on that. I'm assuming that we are to interpret that is some form of him that lives on. So would that, because that's post-death, is that why he helped us? Is that because he remembered this suddenly? Oh, that's an interesting thought. I'm still like really murky on the hard rules of how that even worked. Yeah, I figured it was like a recording. I did he... too, right? Because it was yeah. like the crystals were like, they were memories. They weren't the actual souls of the people, but... I mean, if it's all ether at the end of the day, it's like it would be a a small piece yeah. of the real thing, I guess. Because we wield memory crystals in our inventory. But That's how we take how on does, jobs. How would death implicate, or what what effect would the actual Emma dying have on whatever version of him is in? Yeah, I saw that as him like recording himself so that because he didn't want Elidibus to be the last. But but he also still affected he still had an effect on the fight yeah like it, it's not just like hi friend and that's it like that's why i'm, that's why I'm coaching on this but right then now. we were able to do it without him sorry hi chat how, for, how we doing uh, how we doing for zodiac and all that so how we doing we will not calm down cool <laughs> cool so, did i tell you to calm down i didn't mean to tell you to calm no, down. no no one's, no one no. said calm down yeah or maybe the mod said calm down the mods Con might have said contingency ma magic yeah that's the kind of thing because they don't really like they don't go. No one asked the question like, "Oh, that was weird that that one shade showed up and snapped like our butt, like like Emma did, and you know saved our." Ad. We don't explore it because, like, you're thrust into so many major happenings right after you fight the Warrior of Light. Elidibus is gone. You know, Graha has turned to crystal. You're ushered out of that very quickly. You don't the the characters don't reflect on what happened with Emma. Right, and you didn't do it again until the Zodiac fight, which you could say you're now like you've been hanging out with that crystal for a while. You may have been able to pull off those abilities without an Emmet ghost kind of leading the way. Maybe. Well, that's your crystal at that point. At the end of Seed of Sacrifice, all the other crystals except yours are gone. Yeah, 
Oh, yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. Oh, that's an interesting thought because you would have had more than just. Because you remember, I had an incorrect you. thought that the, all the crystals were going to play into a role at some point. Everyone reminded me, Garrett, that all the crystals except yours. Oh, yeah, yeah, because you spilled the fruity pebbles in front of. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the fruity. As we, as we all know, yeah, the, the deep fruity pebble lore of Final Fantasy XIV uh, does not hold up well in milk. Does not exactly. Yeah, yeah. Good advice, Joe. What did Jesse say? Jesse had advice. Miss, missed it. Where'd it go? Uh, 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 keep going. Then have your talk. Just say okay. There we go. All okay. right. Very well. Le you've never led us astray before, Jesse. So why start now? Allow us to click buttons. Okay. Are you feeling recovered? I understand that your exertions were more than purely physical, but resting one's body, if only for a moment, is never without merit. As for Hermes, I think it unlikely he will create more Antalekis. He poured much of himself into Meteon, and now that she and her sisters are gone, dissipated in his mind, the grief must be unbearable. He will blame himself. You will believe that. Had he never acknowledged his dissatisfaction with the world, then Meteor would have never been born to suffer and die. To offer to join the Fourteen will be a welcome distraction, and one day hence, he will face the advent of the final days in the role of Van Daniel. That was, you know, one of the that was my questions. huge question. How does he like, actually become Van Daniel? Once he knows all this, why would he even right. become Van Daniel? Oh, okay. Cool. I was excited for a hot moment that we would lose our memories, and I'd get to be like, Where'd I get this fabulous hat? <laughs> I don't think even if they had done that, they would have taken into account a new piece of gear that you had gotten. <laughs> what if you had gotten a ring? Or what, shoes? What am I... Oh. Oh, this is lovely. Excellent. <laughs> well, no worries then. And, and I go... Uh, Tuna oh. looks over at Val and goes, Where the hell did you get that weird <laughs> Where'd hat? Where'd you get the hat? Where'd you get that hat? It comes with a mask. That's awesome. <laughs> um, Kyle, hmm. just just for a second, mm. look at supers. Mm. Look at supers. Just just for a second. Uh huh. Because I'm going to throw up. Oh my goodness. Uh, Lost Mythics. That's entirely. Too wow. Much. Thank you very much. Uh, Thank you, Lost Mythics. That is. <laughs> Ridiculous. Oh, and now the accusations of sugar daddy and mommy rain from the well. rain from the chat. <laughs> um. <laughs> Thank oh. you very much, Lost. Ultimate Legends. You, we're not done yet. We we could fumble. We could fumble. That's over true. This, yeah. Over the over the line at this point. We could we could fumble it. You know. We we could whatever whatever awaits us. You know. We we could we could go down in history well, as the worst fourteen streamers ever. Thou must live and die. Wait, what? Thou must live, die, and know the final quest of the evening. Oh, is this where we're playing? This yes. Stuff okay. Yeah. All right. This is the final quest of the MS Curator. Thank you evening. for reminding me. Okay, start recording. Bena is watching you in quiet contemplation. Tuna. Val, listen to me. Our duty is not to denounce Hermes for his misguided determination, or to convince them at Selk and Hithlodeus that they have been deceived. No, we must instead ensure that the experiences Hermes sought to expunge are preserved. What remains in our memories alone will be our weapon against the final days. You must fight this battle in your age, and I in mine. Come, let us walk together once more. I will see you to the doors of Propylion. I'll never pronounce that correctly. Oh, that's quite a walk. I'm going to start running. <laughs> that's what your cat sounds like. Yeah, well, you know, you got these little ribbons, too, going oh, I'm on. I'm going the wrong way. Where the hell are we going? Uh, are we not going? Oh, this? It's, yeah, no, oh it's right? into the... I think it's in the thick of shiz over here. Oh, wow. Oh, no, no. We're, we're, okay. we're going right. out there, buddy. I'm still going to visit the near... I believe I need to be in range of the crystal in order to engage the glasses once more. 
The glasses? Well, you know, as much as I love this fabulous hat, I'd like my glasses back. I thought you weren't wearing glasses today. I, well, no, I'm wearing my, my glasses, you know. Oh, it, the Val, yeah, the the Val, Val glasses. glasses, yes. The, Val glasses. the huge. Ah, okay. All right. Is it, is it red chat time? Mythic says it seems to be. <laughs> Thank you for Nackler Hammers. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh my goodness. Ooh. Thank you, Vernacular. <laughs> nay? What? Oh, why is... Oh, why is there... I, I, I think by law, we're required to go out and get a nice drink. Oh. At some point. Oh, I see. Not tonight. It's yes. far too late. Yes. There was a tiny unicorn, or I guess a pegasus, that flew across the air there and said nay. <laughs> so I was a little confused for a moment. <laughs> nay. I say nay. <sighs> no, it's in, you know, sort of absolved of any issue by deleting his own memory, too. Very cool. Uh, mods are asking for t a 10 minute stay on chats. I'm not sure why. Hmm. Hmm. If you're worried about us, if whatever's about to pop off is very interesting, we're not going to be we, looking we at will chat. Be, <laughs> we will be playing so, the So I will game. say. Uh, if that's the reason, please rest easy, mods. Please, but rest you know, easy. if it's like a if, if it's a quotable sloppe sort of moment, then you know, please refrain oh, yourselves from sloppeing oh, wow. in advance. Yes, <laughs> that might be my favorite in-game meme. Sloppe. I love sloppe. Yeah, sloppe. It's just such a good delivery. It's fun it's to say. Freaking iconic. Anywho. Never look at us again, says the some mods. Okay. <laughs> Very well. Our, our, oh, for the rest of the, until we're done, until we see credits, just never look at chat again. Oh, wow. Okay. The streams are going to be awkward. That's, that is going to be a weird one. We're still going to do an hour of thank yous in the front, but we're just going to be taking guesses. I take it very personally when they're like, if only they looked at, at stream or at chat. <laughs> Like, I'm like, well, sometimes I'm just vibing. But if yeah. we're like intentionally ignoring you all for like the next however long it takes us to see credits on this. It was just mods helping. Yeah, well, well uh, Winkle disagrees, apparently. So. Uh, uh, now now we're holding pink people. Pink is kind of red. Now back to the future. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. All right. All right. Start recording. Uh, there's no, I don't see an M and I can talk to. So I'm clicking on Vanah. Uh, let's see. Your time in this age is drawing to an end. Upon speaking to Vanav, several cutscenes will play in sequence. It is recommended that you... Yep, yep, yep. Yep, yep, yep. yep. That's what I'm here to do. Are you ready? Yep. Three, two, one, go. This, this piano cheats. This piano cheats. So... It is within. The portal that brought you hither and will take you home. Hmm. Uh, head cannon. Tuna would 110% want to stay in. Yeah, even though you're going to be told no, right? I know I'm going to be told yeah. no. Yeah. But just way of... You feel strongly I'm not going to cause the, a the, diversion. The way I've thought about my character yeah. just runs towards the problem. To be fair, I don't even know time is passing back in the source, so... <laughs> well, it's not... We, pr we, we have proven that it's true time travel. Yeah. No, it's, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's not that, that, no, no, That's not to say we're going to be successful at getting back at the exact time that we left. But. Okay, well, I'm down. I'm down. All right. Also, I would I would make a I would make a a legitimate argument here that canonically the Warrior of Light does just tend to charge into things. It's true. Anywho, uh, bottom selection. Yep. Three, two, one, go. I 
I appreciate your sentiment. I truly do. But tis a very long game that we must now play. And while you have maintained a stable presence here thus far, there are dangers in lingering over long. No. You must return to your own battlefield. Make use of the knowledge you have attained, that your days here and our friend's sacrifice be not in vain. With Meteon free to pursue her designs, it is only a matter of time until the final days are upon us. We must be ready. From fortifying our defenses to securing our escape, there is much to be done. In spite of this, we cannot allow the report that set this calamity in motion to become common knowledge. Were the masses to learn the fates of the other stars, I fear the situation would spiral out of our control. I must carefully consider who can be trusted and bring them into the fold. Ordinarily, I wouldn't hesitate to call upon the Fourteen. However, it was the desire for a fair determination that drove Hermes to attempt to erase our memories. And were he made aware of his actions, there is no telling whether he would remain a friend or become a foe. Alternately, we might try to alienate him from the Convocation. Yet in doing so, we would deprive ourselves of a brilliant mind who would be invaluable in the crises to come. Quite the dilemma. Which is why I must work independently of the Convocation. Regardless of how we proceed, if we are to permanently avert the final days, we must be equal to Hermes's challenge. We must prove that mankind is worthy to exist. And this hinges, I think, on how we confront the all-consuming despair that accompanies a senseless and seemingly inevitable end. Bewildered and divided, we would perish like the peoples of those celestial ruins. We could not hope to survive the final days, much less take the battle to Meteon at her nest. We must find a way to defeat despair, to unite and prepare as many as possible for the struggle ahead. Heavy will weigh the burden of guiding this legion of souls. Yet I have faith in mankind's potential. As long as he believes in himself, there is naught he cannot achieve. So I will not give up on him. On us. You may find your world to be very different. Or perhaps the erasure of our friend's memories has sown the seeds of a conjunction between us. We cannot know until the moment is at hand. So shall I strive to do my best, taking naught for granted as I walk my path. And I pray you walk with me to the end. As you move forward, so too will I, as will all, resolved to fight for the morrow. And when mankind has found the strength to stand against despair, we shall silence the song of oblivion. She who sings it will learn our journey is far from over. This I promise. Fare you well, my light of the future. Till we meet again.
Okay. Uh, I made a boo boo. <laughs> oh, did you hit it with your elbow or yeah. something? Okay. Oh, I love these sequences. Thank goodness we're wearing pants this time. Oh, cool. From this day forth, I shall strive to bring honor to the seat of Fantasia. see a little snippet of what we missed. Ooh, yeah. Are we going to get to see it? Oh, hell yeah. Even now, I remember standing there, locked in a moment where the sky is aflame. Where stars fall as tears, and screams darken the seas. Where resignation rots the trees. Where terror twists magics into abominations. Such is the lament of they who have gone before. The song of they who tried and failed to create a better world. The song of the end. That which hides at the edge of the universe is no longer hope's creation. It is hopelessness incarnate. That day, mankind saw half of its number sacrificed to bring forth Zodiac. And covering the star in a shroud of ether, we forestall the final days. Walk free. Walk free. Walk free. Yet the cries echoed still. We wept for innocence lost. Wailed for death inevitable. A reality too terrible to bear. And for too many who sought comfort in gilded memories of joyful days and tranquil nights. wrong why must we suffer so it needn't be like this no there must be a way to restore things to the way they were to reclaim the perfect paradise we once had no my friends suffering exists and we cannot pretend otherwise no civilization, however great, could eliminate it. If we would live, we must accept it as our constant companion. 
Let us not seek to forget this tragedy. Let us carry it in our hearts, that we may grow stronger and know true happiness. We can't accept it. We won't accept it. It will be ours again. A world free of sorrow. No, it will not. For there has ever been sorrow. Mankind was but spared its biting sting for a time. So please, open your eyes to try and reclaim those lives we lost by sacrificing yet more isn't wisdom, it is weakness. No paradise is without its shadows. If we cannot accept this truth and learn from our pain, then our plight shall be repeated. Zodiac, God born of our boundless faith, we bid you hear our prayer. Accept this offering of lives and deliver unto us the lives we once had. Deliver unto us the days of old, the days when the star was a font of love and we knew naught but bliss. You would destroy it, our beautiful world? Lands that stretched on forever, skies one could drown in, the heartbeat of nature, silent yet strong. And amidst it all, a people, beacons of light and life, laughter that warmed my heart like naught else before. They are my meaning and my purpose, my love. In spite of, or perhaps because of this, I choose to believe in mankind's potential, in his ability to find a way forward. So let there be no way back. From that temptation, I sunder us. Now open no more <laughs> shall man of winds <laughs> to bear him to paradise. Henceforth, he shall walk. All is excruciating pain. I breathe fire and torment. I birth a world of suffering to mire and plague.
In one fleeting moment, lives come and go, ever moving towards the unknown. And in that fleeting moment, they cry for the answer to the question. Why, given life, are they meant to suffer, to die? As fragmented, imperfect beings, yours is a never-ending quest. A quest to find your purpose, knowing your end is assured. <laughs> to find the strength to continue when all strength has left you. To find joy even as darkness descends. And amidst deepest despair, light it, it's so everlasting. Dope. I have no words, but yelling this is cool. I have nothing. The silence speaks volumes. A conjunction has begun to form, an intertwining of your time and mine. When you truly understand what is at stake, and your journey has prepared you to surmount the insurmountable, then shall I honor the promise made in another time, another age. Persistent cat. How do you? Oh God, I like imagine like how do you just go back and be like, hey friends, so. Uh, a lot happened. We have some things we need to discuss. Tell it like it is. I mean, apparently we're really good at telling the whole story, so, you know. <laughs> we convinced a bunch of people that had never met us. You bet our friends are going to love it. <laughs> They'll eat it up. What a cool use of our model. I mean, that's obviously, like, it, but what a cool the, the, in, flash in the, business the, the there. The way they, in-game cutscene in this game. Uh, yeah, it's... Very well done. Very, very well done. Um, well, I get why y'all like Vanas so damn much. Well, yeah, but that's cheating. Jeez. That's cheating. Go with it. Uh, Let's have our Vanas moment. I'm, I'm aware. No. I'm having my Vanas. That's how I chose to start my Vanas rules moment. Yeah. I'm not accusing anyone of anything. I'm just, you know, I saw the comments. The, oh, they've chosen that sort of reaction, have they? You know? Chosen, like, yes. Yes, we, choose we chosen, yeah. We choose a reaction. Oh, she was full of bullshit. We didn't know. <laughs> I hadn't been to the past to not see her memory away, you know, wiped. But that's the part I really like about it. What? Well, she's not cheese ball. Because if her memory, if the whole memory wipe thing didn't happen, then she's a cheese ball good guy. Hmm. But the fact that she knew a future where she had to endure so she's all that pain. Ex ex yeah, we, she's exercising a great deal of control. Right. And over eons. And like, well, and, and it gets over the sort of, because I'm such a good guy and I'm so cool, that's why I didn't give in to despair after all. No, she didn't give in to despair because she literally couldn't. But also, she knew 
that there was hope. What, what, it, she, it, she, I mean, like, quite literally represents Asm. Yeah. Uh, now more literally than we ever thought. Now that we understand just how a direct a connection there is there, but I mean, the scene with her confronting all those ancients that turned to Zodiac. I mean, it's it's us versus the Asians in our plate all the yeah. way from Realm of War until now. It's the same thing. The, the entire story of 14 up until this point has been those who look forward for a way to progress to pull themselves out of hardship against those that just want to hunker down and wish they could just go back to the way things were and reject the difficulties of what they faced before them. That's all that, that was just holding up a mirror. It was just an echo of the entire point of this story. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's wonderful. It's fucking, it's absolutely wonderful. I'm going to cuss a lot. I'm sorry, everybody. That was very <laughs> cool. That was on, that was like airbrush shit on the side of a van levels of, truly over-the-top earned epic. Yeah. Yeah. And one might be a little confused should one endure eons of suffering, as demonstrated yeah. by Black Ooze in that particular scene. Oh, you're just watching the the, the disassembly, the, the, the deconstruction of Vana. Yeah. You know, from the, when we first made her Lance punches a street shark to death, pristine white to just covered in. I took it as like the the just the the blood of her battle. It's acre, you know. It's yeah. The, yeah, it's it's the everything she's fought for, everything she's done. This is the toll it's not taken. corruption, but a a dirtiness from having oh. to endure the aeons of despair before her eyes. Yeah, yeah waiting sorry. for you. Okay, chat. I'm gonna I'm gonna look at you for a second. <laughs> How we doing? How we holding up? Blue eyes, white vanas is the first thing I saw. <laughs> I, I do enjoy Yukio. <laughs> Not connection to make. Yeah. 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 I uh, also I feel like you know I owe like Heidel and Vana like a, a great uh, a, a big apology for no. everything. Evil God. I disagree. <laughs> She's rightfully confused. But, again, like for me, my personal reaction, I still would have thought it cheese ball if it wasn't for her escaping the memory wipe. By I'm, having I that am... bit of hope in her soul, she could weather that time. I I am... To, to get away from the awesome cutscene that I just saw, which I I loved. The, the... I love watching heroes like it be that's how you make me respect your overly heroic hero. Beat the shit out of them. Let me see them just reduced to barely being able to stand. Or cut an arm off. I'm also a big fan of like that in fights. Uh, mm. It just makes me like heroes when they when either limbs get lost or they just get this just absolutely just wrecked. Um uh Anywho, rewinding before that, I am over the moon with how time travel was ha handled. Like, absolutely. Yeah, it I was am, nicely I done. Have no notes. I am. So, there. How many things, chat? Those of you who've been watching this journey that we've been on, that have watched most of our playthrough, how many narrative hangups have I stated that this game goes straight for? And then I haven't, and I haven't really, and I haven't hated it. I hate precursor races. Yeah, true. The the, the last, the, this entire chunk of the MSQ is just like, hey, y'all want to hang out with some precursor races? You want to do that? Like, I hate, I, I hate that and shit. Like, it's the worst part of Halo. Um, that's that's great. Time travel, I I do like time travel, but I feel it is just horribly done in so many pieces of media. Um, that was great. That was absolutely great. The whole time I'm going, because I'm like, that's why I wasn't like, I was, like, it was, when you first said, are we in a simulation? I'm like, oh no, a little bit literally said, don't change the past. So like, I feel like, why would you even mention that? But at the same time, I'm like, I don't know, man, what do I know? I've been wrong a million times. I'm not going to push back on you on this, but at the same time, I'm just, ah, oh, there it is. The bow, a beautiful little bow. But it was like, blink and you miss it. It was in an unvoiced cutscene where 
he was talking to the dude that wanted to go kill the lichens being like, oh, yeah, no, we've, we've wiped their memory a bunch of times with this tool. And, and again, it's an unvoiced cutscene. And, and, and Emmett is like, okay, yeah, that's a good tool. But if you use it too many times, there's all kinds of terrible ramifications you can have. And then it becomes this massive, like, cornerstone of this entire arc. Yeah. yeah. And makes what Elizabeth said not crazy or weird. No. Because yeah. he was right in the end. Yeah. Well, I mean, we still, as the Warrior of Light, did not listen to him at all. But luckily for well, us, yes, we chose. But we also Hermes wiped everyone's memory. I think it, my head canon, of course, is that yeah, I thought it was a simulation with my glasses, so or a memory that I was reliving or something like that. So why not? Why not give it a go? And kind of the Skynet thing that I've said I enjoy. You know, it was inevitable that we would tell Vanon she did remember. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm trying to keep an eye on chat. I'm sorry, y'all. It's this is a lot of y'all here tonight. Hard to keep up on things while also talking to my friend here. Um I am overwhelmed. That was cool. Mm. That was very cool. Jesse wants to know in what way do you think Vanilla is confused? I don't think Vanilla is confused. I think Heidelin could have been clearer in the past. And I think her long aeons have left her cryptic. Oh, so you think there's a bit of an, like a, the, as with every other Asian, like even Emmett to a certain point succumbed to the, 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 the time that he. And spent. she has this, like this core in her as the core that remembers and holds on to that hope. But perhaps with strange eons, even death may die. You know, like she... And this is, of course, a trope I enjoy. And watching her become... tattered through her quest, whether... And, you know, maybe we'll get that explanation of whether or not she is... waiting directly for us, if she thinks all the souls of... I guess she would be able to recognize us directly. Because um, there's a lot of... I mean, it, a lot of people are, like, jumping on... I'm, I'm not visibly confused. I'm, I'm just trying to... I'm trying to figure out how best to represent chat, because I don't think they're off base here where a lot of people are saying uh, the same rules apply. She could, by knowing all that she knows, drastically alter the way we would go about things by being too hands-on. Sure. With her guidance. Absolutely. So it's very likely it could be intentional uh, misguidance. But also, that's the kind of thing, like, I don't really want to know that until well, I see credits, because at the moment, this yeah, is still our no, interpretation. What, what, like, that sort of interpretation is, again, going back to her being perfect, and everything to this moment has been perfect, which isn't true, and that's kind of how I saw it in that cutscene we just watched. Now, of course, you know, again, like, we had the we had the comments all the way back on the well, boat of there they go, not believe in her. How could they, after all this time, how could they not trust her? Well, that they were operating on. They were operating on, yes. on future knowledge and, 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 too. That you and I get annoyed by that. Yeah, of course. Yeah. We get, we get, we get annoyed by like, we are operating with limited knowledge. Yeah. These are our reactions. Let us have those reactions because eventually everything will get filled in. Yes. Yeah. So, and if, Let's finish out the quest. Let's finish out the quest. <laughs> okay. Let's finish out. Let's put a bow on this. Yeah. Let's put a bow on this. Uh, do we just... Oh, report to Kryle. <laughs> um, something I've been trying to find the space to say to you all night mm. is that Xenos couldn't feel less goddamn important. That is true. At this point. Yeah. Because we thought he might have a, a something to do with the final days, or is into nihilism or something, and yeah. But I mean, he might be. Oh, I guess his shade could be communicating with the nest of all the harpy girls, and that's how. And we with Xenos go find 
the heart of nihilism. Heart of nihilism? Well, yeah, I, mean, I guess they do. Yeah, they did. Yeah, because they okay. were Let's like, she's nesting Let's out class. in space. I just, I just want okay. to say, like, boy, howdy, does just uh, not just. Sorry, there's a Jesse thing, but keep that up. Keep the, don't move this. I want to see this Jesse question later when we're done with this. Right. I, I think. I um, think the. You know, obviously, there there was a a uh, a gathering around the word choice I used, and I think a lot of people take confused to mean confusing. And that's where I was misunderstood. I could have chosen a better word. I did than see confused. one person say straight up, she wasn't confused. She was confusing. Yeah. So someone interprets it in that way. But I, I think that it's. I think I describe myself well, but I can see why people took offense to the confused I'm word. You. I'm following you. Covering for Kyle, who has a cat that is mad about his water not being turned on. I don't know what that means. They have a one of those reciprocating cat water thingies. You're offended we didn't call most of this back in Rome Born. Ah, that's a shame. That's a shame. That's a shame. We're uh, we are in the middle of playing right now, so uh, I will not be checking mod chat or anything like that. Uh, I, I've I've seen it. Uh, we are we are sticking to what we're doing right now. We're not gonna drop what we're doing uh, and go check mod chat at the moment. Did you think it was going here? Um, I mean, I thought we were gonna get an answer for the for the final day. I, I at no point was I like. Aliens <laughs> to that? No, <laughs> absolutely not. No, did not think it was going here. Not in this way. Not in this way. No, absolutely not. What's going on? Uh, people are like, did you see it going here? I'm like, aliens? Fuck no. <laughs> oh no. I mean, they left the the breadcrumb trail so that you could get there. Did they leave a breadcrumb trail for aliens from the past? Was past that aliens? just at the start of tonight's stream talking about aliens? You know. It's yeah, not. With knowledge of seeing the satellites. Yes, which is the, the satellite. A breadcrumb trail yes. two quests beforehand, I don't call it breadcrumb well, trail. Well, sure, they had, but they had the technology, the, the ether, and it made sense as it went. Just like, if you're going to claim ether technology, ether is, like, can do anything. Well, the, the interesting <laughs> thing about it is they did also throw in the line that was... I will come um, for you now. <laughs> but no, 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 hang on. I'm not saying I'm some... Uh, I don't know why you're mad, uh, but <laughs> ether, I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> well, no, they, they made a... The reason I say that is because they had that line on this ether-soaked star differentiating it from other stars. And we had technology stars that nuked themselves and stuff like this out there. So ether was their form of technology and how they doomed themselves. Well, yeah. In but... terms of the Carl Sagan, we are all, we are all doomed to die and blah, blah, blah. <laughs> kind of business. Yeah, but... Um, Fan Daniel is a dude named Hermes who made a Twitter girl and sent copies of her out into space yes. so that they got uh, depressed with all the dead civilization and then right went mad that no. But I'd, we can kick its ass. That's what they were, they were like. There's a nest of them and we can go kick their ass. So it's it's punchable. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, punchable. A, it's a punchable. It's a threat. punchable. It's exactly. a punchable threat. There you exactly. Go. There you go. There you go. All right. Let's continue. Yeah, because up until this point, the only thing I recognized as an alien was Midgard Sormer. So, my my scope was uh, limited to only space dragons. Only space dragons, Kyle. Kyle says, oh, "Let me uh, record this." Val, impeccable timing as always. I'd hear you off. Wait, I'd hear you were off in the first as part an effort to investigate the final days. Well, as so often seems to be the case, while you're away, we've had some few developments, which we can discuss in just a moment. 
For now, however, I cannot tell you how wonderful it is to have you back. <laughs> then that's the that's okay, so no, <laughs> that's no a, revelations. So no, no further, for, no, no further, further explanations. No further for revelations. Now. Uh, yeah, so I know, I know, uh, Jesse. Many people were asking, like, where do you think it goes from here? Um, mm. Go punch harpies in the face. Uh, apparently, we, we missed. It's just, just so, this so, this so much. Uh, uh, real quick, I do want to give a shout out, McKaylee. Thank you, very generous super. We got a bunch. Of, I, want, I just want to shout out for the ones that are still pinned at the top because they were so absurd. They're still up there. Um, uh, uh, cow, tell us thank you. That's very uh, wait. So get to a blackbird and write five hundred times. Never doubt Vana again. Jokes aside, it was a blessing <laughs> chance to be with you. Yes, I'm with you now. Uh, Kevin M, uh, if you meant to include a message, uh, please get it to a mod. Valeo, that's the most generous Hithlodeus love, and we've gotten some generous Hithlodeus love in the past from you. I Definitely. Believe. Um. All right, KLG Chaos. I want to read this scene has several interpretations of the blood of Vina. Uh, some say it's Vina taking the hits for us. Some say it's the rejoining. Some say it's the suffering. She spread with the sundering. I choose to believe all three and that she was with us the whole time. Yeah, that, that was kind of like, I, yeah, I just kind of took it as the weight of the eons that she has had to carry this burden. Right. Until the warrior of light was online and could kind of forge ahead pun very much intended. Mm. That's why I liked it. I, I like when you try, when you, when you try to represent that much time passing because it's, it's unfathomable for real people. 12,000 years, I believe is something like would that. be the, the general, if there isn't like a world building time period that doesn't exactly have measurable time in it while it was being sundered and all that kind yeah. of thing. Yeah. Yeah. So that's, uh, that's very cool. And, and I, yeah, it's, an, it's another like personal hangout with me. Like, I don't really like, when, it's very rare that I enjoy when things get so celestial. You and I have talked oh, many right. times about how we don't like the end of Starcraft. Yes. Too, yes. Because it just went like full, like. Angry space god and, and uh, like it, lost all relatability by the time we got to that point. Shoot the slug with lasers. Yeah, I guess that was a thing we did. Yeah. 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 But this like the lead up into media. Uh, 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 oh my god, my brain. Um, but her descent, like going black and then eyes glowing. By the way, look kind of like darkness to me. Am I supposed to read into that? What, that she saw darkness? No, look, she looked like dark, like when she went all black and just the eyes were glowing. Uh, but then she came back out of it and she was just black and white. But I was just like, oh, man, that, that looks cool as shit. Oh, when it was the eyes in yes. the mist. That it, was it's cool. Like, it's like a hot moment. Yeah. It, that's what it made me think of. It was what it made me think of. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um. Woody punches or pinches. Thank you. Said happy to, you, to see you get to that cutscene, and sit in stunned silence with inner spit smiles the whole time. Yeah, it was. It was. It was. I fell over the moon about that cutscene, man. Also, I am like, are we just? Are we all just marks for for match cuts? Are we all just marks? What's that one? What's a match? A cut? match cut is. Oh, like, when you yeah. Yeah, like Vanaz walking, then flash, and it's us it, walking mean, towards Emmett, and then flash. It only matters to me because it's my. They character. did it recently in Ahsoka, and everyone lost their freaking shit with Anakin, and then a lightning flash, and he's Darth Vader, and lightning flash. No, back sure, Anakin, sure. And like, it got gift immediately and blown up all over. We, I, th I think everyone just kind of likes a match cut. Everybody likes a match cut. Everybody, everyone likes a match cut. Lord Panther, thank you for the generous super chat. Uh. <laughs> Lydia thinks we both look tired and overwhelmed. Mm. It's, it's a lot to absorb. It's not a. It's not an in. Uh, it's, it's not an inaccurate assessment. No. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh. oh jo I'm going to read John here. He says she wasn't just a Twitter meme after all. Our own MS curator. <laughs> I guess not. Yeah. I guess not. But okay. I've been confused about many things I've seen on Twitter before. Okay. So. Would you all like a little cooking? Before we okay. wrap this up, right, would you, well, would you all enjoy a little cooking? If you would like to see some cooking and you have a three, two, one, go, please let a three, two, one, go rip. 
Um, <laughs> let it rip while Kyle grabs the cooking cat. Do we have to pass it back and forth for permission to cook? No, there's only two of us. That's oh, okay. only really useful when there's more than oh, people. Okay. All right. All right. So everyone wants to know where we think this is going. Kick bird girl's ass. <sighs> so B bird girl is now an ancient being. Hanging out in a distant world. Do we get a number for how many sisters she has? Or was it just sisters in general? There were so many examples given of like worlds that were found and analyzed. Yeah. And no, I don't think there was the lineation between which construct found which world. I mean, obviously, I, I'm very excited because one of my pet find outs for a while has been linking what's up with Omega's flyby. Baron Star when he was doing the Star Rundown when we were watching Alpha walk through space. And now I have that, oh, I think. Oh, shit, yeah. You know, I've been told I got excited about the reflections and thinking those were what Omega was talking about, but that does seem Damn, dude, like yeah. a pretty good... Yeah, and you know my like my, my famous thing that everyone likes to yell at me about, which is like, oh, the, the raids, they, they, they don't matter. <laughs> the raid lore isn't that important. In the main... In in terms of its it, how it connects to the like main story quest, yeah, it connects to the MSQ, and people always get mad at me about it, and I think for reasons like that. What? Also, Alexander well, and the twin. Alexander, and, the, the time travel thing, like that was. There's there's so much in Alexander that is completely just not the cheese relevant. Wizardry, to, yeah. yes, all the gobby stuff just is like so profoundly not relevant to how it connects to the Crystal Tower. Totally, yeah, um, but. Um, that last fight was fantastic, though. Um, but yeah, starting to see why you all yell at me about this. So, uh, you know, let, if I met a game here a little bit, we got Kryl standing here. Good chance that uh, Hylan Vana has been like, whoa, 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 pump the brakes. We're getting close. We're getting close to the point where I know Warrior of Light comes back to visit. So I'm just going to chill. And if we're talking to Kryl here, there's a good chance maybe even our next quest is Ah, good. There you are. It's good to see you. How was the journey? And Vana speaks through, you know, Heidelin speaks through Kryle immediately to us. And it's like, yo, what's up? I'm here. Um, you know, we've been predicting for a long while that we're going to kill Heidelin because balance and stuff. That is still kind of a bookend and would clean up for future adventures. By the way, favorite part of Dawn Trail is when Alphano walked out on the boat and was like, smooth sailing, beautiful skies, no alien bird girls up there. Oh, whoops, spoiler. <laughs> Sorry about I, that. I again come back to, like, <laughs> after this thing, to the, I'm, I'm quadrupling down on how the fuck would you even spoil this for someone yeah. in any succinct fashion. Right. Like, how could you quickly be like, like, even if, like, if someone wanted to be, like, we've done this joke before. If someone wanted to be malicious about it, you know, if someone was mad. We went to FanFest and they went up to us at FanFest. They're like, I'm going to spoil it for you. It would take them four hours. Yeah. To like properly spoil this. <laughs> or we would take it as a joke. Like someone yelling, it's aliens. You would it's go, aliens. Yeah, you'd be like, you'd... Okay, okay. All right. They're like, now let me explain to you exactly how aliens come in. I'm be like, that's nice. I'm hungry. I'm going to go get food now. Um, thank you. He's got fun little beans. Yeah, like, I don't know how you could even like succinctly spoil this for somebody. So yeah, in terms of like where it goes next. Um... But that would explain Heidel uh, Highland's silence, which is nice because we were both like, you're, you're afraid of protecting Zodiac. Why, do something. You know, that meme poking. Hey, Highland, do that, something. That, that, well, that's the... That's the th that's I, that's still just a question for me. I, I don't I don't feel like I have much more to go on on like why is title and quiet. I, I like where you're going, but I'm, I'm not sure I agree with it. But that she was kind of holding out for you know getting I mean, caught up. Why would she and, hold out? Like why would it matter? Like, well, she's able to clearly you know read our minds and stuff because we often show her she sees everything we do so she would be able so to she's see just being go. smiles in chat right now because she knows we're about to go to the past she's yeah like, so you know she's what? like just i mm, i'm ah. just not gonna interfere i mean if it, you know that the more i think about it the more i think about it that's that's a good point especially if we're buying into chat saying listen it's not that she's gone nuts over time it's that she 
didn't want to give you too much information and affect the course of your actions to where you wouldn't do the right thing, right? And so if she is holding back, when she gets that, that is that is a key point. Like, and we're basically in a causality loop at that point. If she remembers us, that means we were kind of predestined to go to the past. That's where time travel becomes interesting because if we went to the past and, and what you're saying is right, and I think you're right, then she already knows. And maybe what I'm... And so, yeah, she, she, already, she already knows we're on the right path because she already knows we're going to... All right, cool. They're going to go to the Crystal Tower, go to the past, go on an adventure with all of their favorite characters, including me, which will be their favorite character by the end of this adventure. So, yeah, that, that actually, no. You know what, damn it, dude? I've convinced myself on your theory. You're correct. I think Kyle's right. I think Kyle's so right. she, and now we have the reason why she would want to die. Not because we have to put her down. Not because she's crazy. Yeah. But because she's freaking exhausted after all these eons. And, and she was, sees us heading towards the crystal well, tower and says, and, you know what? I can take a break. Well, and, and any at any rate, she was going to return to the star anyway she just felt like having a little duty before she went so now that duty has gone on way longer she's helped people way longer than she ever intended you know we're gonna celebrate your death uh greatest of all you know it seems kind of weird for a video game that you don't fight her but there's still very much uh we still have a game man i don't know yeah, yeah. I, I i never i didn't think we we're gonna fight fan daniel they found a way yeah they found a way like Never know there, but yeah, no, it's a, it's yeah, it's a time loop. We're in a, it's a, it's a time loop, and we close the loop. Yeah. yeah. So I think I will adapt. This is really tidy time travel. Like I, I don't see any reason to question it. I will adapt my description to she is tired AF. <laughs> so am I. And here, feel, think is her being like, this is the most I can muster <laughs> at the moment, and then she's got to take a big old nap. That's why Midgard Sormer jumps in there. Yeah. Yeah, Shakat brings up a very good point. We did technically already fight her in Elpis. You. Oh, with sure, wearing sure. Butterflies. Sure, sure. But, yeah. you know, I was thinking more of like a, you know, balance of the universe. Got to put both sides down to fix the past. Yeah. Sort of thing in the past. Alexander McKay, thank you for the generous welcome to Ed Walker. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> Y'all are ridiculous. We, we need to make a welcome to Ed Walker shirt. I need one. I need one at this point. And then when we find others after this, after we go on, after we graduate to MSQ Vampirism, we just mail them to streamers with like randomly. Just welcome to Walker. Yeah. We mail them like four over the course of the Walker <laughs> play. Just keep showing up. Just keep showing up. Just stitch it together. Because it's just one piece at a time. And then the puzzle. <laughs> we send an arm. And we send another arm. Yeah. Eventually the puzzle, you get all the pieces <laughs> and together. And you get kit. You get yep. that. Yeah, man. If, uh, Amanda Aachen, she's playing now, right? Well, uh... <laughs> There we go. Yeah. When Amanda makes it like, to what, 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 what does this say? <laughs> she probably have her on the podcast first, so she's not like, who are these creeps that keep sending me t-shirts? It happens. <laughs> oh, my God. Um. Oh, okay. So what's going on in Mod Chat? Sorry. Sorry, I didn't mean to. What, what is going on? Something There's something, going something, on in, something in Mod Chat? Okay. And right. you were gone, and they were like, look at Mod Chat. I'm like, we've got a hand in the quest. I didn't. Now I understand why you're pushing it so far because there was nothing really more to the end of the quest. There were no more revelations. There's so many things going on. We got okay. Nutkins, it looks aliens. like so. It looks like we got we got memes yep. first up. Yep. Can you show the? Can we show these memes? Yeah. Let me uh, to stream. Let me begin the meme. <laughs> so there's there's meme number one. Fantastic, fantastic. Oh, we're just gonna cover the stream <laughs> with memes. Yeah, and it's our stream. <laughs> you know. I think I really captured. I think the you essence. did. I feel like I'm there. Although I also look like the, the lion ass 90s teachers meme too. Mm. You know the that face. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's like yeah, we have a, a just in motion. A collection of I think that was when the match cut happened to the back to the Emmett <laughs> battle. <laughs> it could have happened many times this evening. Oh, we can finally watch this. Oh yeah, sure. Let's do it. Rip, okay. Rip it. All right. Well, hold on. Is it very long? Because I should get on the road. At some uh, point, let's but... see. Let's see. Ten seconds. Oh, it's let's ten go. seconds long. Let's go. Just make sure chat. Right. Oh, do you want a hole? Uh, yeah, I'll take a. You hold it to oh, your. It's not in stereo. Let me get a uh, screen on. I'm gonna be like your. Your high school bus girlfriend. 
We're just gonna let the music ride. <laughs> Wait, did the, did the music die off? No, on well, it, it's a it's a licensed song, so we got to be careful about oh, that sort of thing, right? Yeah, gotcha. Yeah, uh, yeah, but I think we got the essence of it. That's a very and can enjoy that it is, in its that is fullness at a wholesome AF. Yep, wholesome AF. <laughs> Uh, what else we got in there? <laughs> Cleaned up something. Ah, uh, yeah. Othgar the hungry uh, cannot wait until you, and then they scribble out and then the they rest. Scribble out the rest. They scribbled out the rest. Tired and overwhelmed. Absolutely. I read that. There was someone earlier. I just wanna. Let me see if I can find it. God, y'all have been way too. We're gonna have a big stream on Tuesday. Uh, where we kind of go back over our thoughts. There'll yeah. be more cooking then. We're going to catch up on Supers we missed, but there was one I wanted to catch too. I wasn't pinned up at the top, but y'all. Shoot, where was it? Was one well, the... realize that we, we, can't, we, can't edit, we can't edit sound on a video that goes over three hours on, on YouTube. So if it does flag the censorship, it means all money whatever and all that thank it, you it, it's for it's dirty it's i'm sorry yeah i'm sorry about that um yeah i can't find it i'm sorry someone someone earlier sent in an orange super it said your first super ever I'm, I'm i cannot find it right now there are legitimately so many messages um uh Please stop by Tuesday. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> Where we'll be going through these with a fine tooth comb. Um, I always feel guilty about that when I see one where I'm like, oh, I want to go back to that, and then I can't find it. I'm very sorry. It's a wonderful. We could just listen to audio on our side. I the the, the, the oh, I'm the still mixer, I'm still tubes. I'm tubes. still new at the mixer, so I wouldn't know how to the work tubes. it immediately. And yeah, um, and I'm I'm in headphones. Um, wait, we could just here. Oh, wait, here. Here, flip it out. Wait, you okay? Get over here. All right, and you'll put you'll play it on yours. Oh no, does this have Discord? It, yeah, it should. Okay, let's get into Discord. I'm. Oh my god, this is pulling. Oh, hold on. Ah, ah, hair, ah, hair. Okay, all right. Oh god, it has. So, god, when was the last time you opened Discord? That has a lot of updates. Well, that's on the other computer. I haven't, I haven't touched that computer since what? That's what I mean. April <laughs> last, last year time you when opened I, Discord on this yeah. computer. It's going to explode something. I'll figure it out. It's going to be the worst reacts ever. You can't see or hear what we're reacting to. Uh-oh. Oh, it's doing a... Uh, yeah, here, this doesn't is... this button mean they can't... Like, now they can't hear? I have hear? one more. Nope. I, you know, I figured it out. Okay. This, You're just going to open it? This. Open it's it on your phone? We're just doing this. Okay. And you know what? Here we go. I see. I see. It's so sad. I see. It's horribly I see. sad. I thought. I thought him and Amara at the end was just like a like a sign off card. I didn't, yeah, they did. A I little... didn't think it was part of the joke. No, it was well done. That uh, was well done. Uh, 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 whoever made that, I'm very fucking mad at you. <laughs> Why would you show that to me? Why? Why? Did you not get enough? Did you not get enough emotion tonight? Did you not get enough? Did you really not get enough? I want to watch this. I want to watch the Exarch made you a sandwich again. That's what yeah, I want. Yeah. That's what I need watch, is a chaser. You need, you need a chaser. You got to watch That's something happy now. what I need is a chaser now. on that. Dear Lord. <laughs> so horribly depressing. <sighs> we want tears. <laughs> oh. Why would I cry at something so truly... Epic. No, I'm exhausted. I'm. I mean, I'm tired. I am. Like I'm in the truly best way possible. Truly exhausted. In the absolute best way possible. I am. I am. I am tired, but in a good way. In a that was a lot way. Um. <laughs> yeah, that face. That face. That, oh, by the way, 
Welcome to the time this always ends for me. Uh, yeah, you know, it, it's something. <laughs> Welcome. It's something. Welcome. We wanted to preserve our Thursday night streams, uh, so hope you all enjoy. We wanted to preserve them. We wanted to preserve them. So um, we will be back Tuesday. Monday. We'll have podcasts. Well, Monday we'll have a podcast. We have a podcast yeah. on Monday. So Tuesday will be the Super Forum where we watch yes. our stream again. Uh, plus, you know, worth noting for those who might be interested, uh, the video will already be recorded at that point. So any thoughts oh, you're right. you share will not influence the future thoughts of the video. Oh, too. Right. It'll be our most, yeah, it'll be our safest one of those. Yeah. Ones. Yeah. I mean, we so that'll have, always... We don't have that many left. Hmm. MSQ videos. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, there's patches still to go, too. But... Yeah, yeah. The, the I'm working on spoiler insinuations, but everyone talks about 6-0 credits being the end. Yeah. So I don't think patches work into this story very directly, if at all. Other Maybe. Than we're... Yeah. Unless they give us a different character to play as the warrior. Yeah, they if they choose to, you know, do the yeah. six point three thing. Yeah. 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 Um I don't know how to thank you all uh, adequately. So we'll do it on Tuesday. <laughs> thank you all very much. You have been wonderful. Thank you for <sighs> giving us space tonight. Uh thank you to our mods. And uh, and and uh, who who are so good at their job? Um, I saw redacted messages from one Jesse Cox. I did see Jesse yeah. got a, a snipe. I don't know what you're, know what you're getting rough. at there, Jesse. I don't know what you're getting at. Such such a shame. Such a shame. So, um, yeah. Nothing left to say, but legitimately, thank you. Good night. GG. Are we GG? GG. GG, everybody. Thanks for watching. <laughs> One sentence away from say goodbye, Kyle. I, I, I'm Spanman. <laughs>